episode number 50, we were oh. talking about Archer. Oh, we were. Tim d- does, in fact, not love another person, but a show. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't want to don't want to mess up the head cannon here for anyone. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this me see if I ever do find someone to love, that's just like that's that's a uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're gonna, gonna happen. Pretend that, we're just gonna pretend that's that non-canon. You know, yeah, that's what we got to do from now on. Anytime either of us get partners, we just pretend they don't exist on the podcast. <laughs> that's how you go about things. That's a smart way to do things. All right, we are free and available, e boys, <laughs> here on Twitch. We sure are. I'm, I'm oh great! Now, right oh, now. actually, no. We shouldn't do this. We're just like every other Twitch streamer ever. Is that a fact? We're like all the, we're like all the thoughts. Oh, are we? Yeah, like a big thing about them. It's sort of like it. It spans anywhere towards like idol culture, even. Like, oh yeah, you hear I, certain stories in like Japan, really like uh-huh. the moment like some J-pop girl gets like a boyfriend, and her fucking fans just like go full. Oh yeah. Big time, dude. I bought your merchandise and you're telling me you won't fuck me? <laughs> well, did you see what happened in uh, in Korea with the, like one of those Japanese idol stars? Oh, like a K-pop star? No, no, no. She she was from Japan. And she... mm. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. And this guy, I guess, I don't know if he was like DMing her or messaging her or just talking to her on some kind of social media. Either way, he found her in person. He beat the fuck out of her. Jesus fucking <laughs> Yeah. And uh, she's like this fucking four foot five, you know, short little small woman. And he's like this six foot Korean dude. And he the beat fuck? the shit out of this woman. And Jesus like, Wow. Really? We're doing this now? <laughs> first we will well, I guess America went furthest with it first since we had that girl get uh beheaded by one of her orbiters. So we get a lot of horror stories over here. What really was, was uh, her name? Chessie. Who? Like something grim. Something grim. Oh, Grimmy. Yeah. Christina Grimmy. And, Wasn't that her name? Yeah, Christina Grimmy. Yeah, yeah, and she yeah. got, what? She got shot she by got a fan? shot. Yeah, no, I don't even think that was a fan. I think it was just some guy. Who oh. Just wanted to fuck well, she people's had... worlds up. So, I don't, yeah, but that, but that does happen. Like, uh, isn't the person who fucking... Shot Selena was like the head of her fan club or something like that. I think so. Yeah. So I don't know if I want. (laughs) (laughs) And you know, you wonder why these Stan cultures are just like, I don't get why people think I'm so weird. Yeah. What's wrong with, I think, okay. So I really think that a lot of the K-pop Stan stuff started out Mm. as like parody. Mm. And now it's just like, it's everything. Like whenever (laughs) someone dies, they're like, well, maybe if he Stan Jung, this wouldn't have oh, happened. And I'm like, oh, oh god, my god, <laughs> we're just actually doing this right now. Jesus, Christ. yeah, like it's it's an actual thing, you know. Um, we were wrong about Disney ruling the world. It's gonna be <laughs> fucking which um K-pop boys. I just I can't get into it, man. You know, I don't, I mean I don't try to. Granted, but uh, <laughs> I just can't get into it. You know. Yeah, I have like. There's a few songs that I think it's like, okay, yeah, this is catchy. Like, yeah. I like the beat, but I'm not like, ah, new J-pop group. Oh, I mean, let's yeah. listen to what their industrial complex decided to pump out. <laughs> so, uh, on the topic of music, Tim, mm. I texted you at like 2.30 oh, yes. in the morning today. <laughs> I <think. Right. laughs> Was it 2.30 in the morning? I know you asked for three, but I was I was ready to go to bed. At two, so <laughs> you quit. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Did you? And also, before we move on entirely, did you enjoy the voicemail that I sent you the other day as well? You know, honestly, oh yeah, that one. God damn it! I was just, like, I was just confused. I'm just like, I'm not gonna touch that. I'm not even. I was about to type. I typed immediately. Was like, what? And then, I was like, nope, no, no I just... I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. So we got yeah, two twenty one a.m. today. Here's your reminder. <laughs> and I didn't listen to it until like the last hour. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's exactly an hour long. So you're like, it's a perfect album to listen to in an hour. You know? <laughs> so I got to say that I'm indifferent. That's mm. my own. I'm, I'm just not into like the soul, like sort of like soul and like R and B vibe. Okay. Right. I can understand I don't know. That. Like, like he's a, he had, Frank Ocean has a good voice. Don't get me wrong. Okay, right. Yeah. And I really like his tracks. Like, I'll give him that. Like, his tracks were just like, 
I just like for a moment, I'm just like I can vibe with this. Yeah, I can just like any chill. any particular ones that stuck out to you or. Oh, I was playing a game while listening to it. Also, <laughs> I was just like, oh, "This is a track change. I'm not gonna alt tab to see what the new right. track is, yeah, but I'm this gonna, is a good song." I'm just gonna make it my head canon that you liked solo, self control, white Ferrari, and uh, future of free. <laughs> yes, so, yes, we'll say that future of free is the last one on the album. I'll say that. Mm. So there's yeah, um, but yeah. Well, I'm glad you listened to it. You know. And I'm glad I, that you I'm a man of my word. Something I completed positive somewhat to come out of it. You know? <laughs> You're like, I won't go out of my way to listen to it, but if I was high and at a party, <laughs> I'd be fine with Frank Ocean playing in the if, background. If someone decided just to put it on, you know, I'm just gonna be like, okay, you yeah, know what? sure. I think fine. although Frank Ocean doesn't really make party music, to be fair. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, you don't know. <laughs> someone might be hosting an orgy or something. Yeah, actually, I had a, I had a flow, I had a circle chart of. Uh, Frank Ocean songs to cry to versus Frank Ocean songs to fuck to. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me God damn it. it. And, the, and, and there's some that are in the center. That I it's very I awkward hold. if you get the wrong song. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah. I, I sent you the little graph chart. Um, just trying to get your dick wet, and then all of a sudden it's just like the saddest song ever. <laughs> oh, like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking, like, I'm listening to, let me see, what, what do they have on? Because there's a couple, I don't know who fucked to Swim Good. Because mm. um, that song's all about, like, his heart being broken and him driving himself into the ocean. Oh! Yeah. So I don't know who's fucked to that song. Uh, I don't know who's, I guess you could fuck to Super Rich Kids. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> I don't know who, that, who's fucked okay. to self-control. <laughs> uh, or Nikes. That, that song's about materialism, so I don't, I don't know. I'm I'm glad White Ferrari is in the cry to zone. Good. Guy. Yeah, Nike's was feels a, that that one I did see. The name of it I was like, eh, it's eh. That was pretty eh. I didn't like the the pitch shift on that song. Mm. When he does it like with his natural voice, it sounds much better in my opinion. Mm. Did you hear the beat switch in Nights though? That everyone goes off about all the time. <laughs> you know what? I'm just listen to it right now and confirm. I, I legit. I had to go back and listen to it because I never noticed it <laughs> whenever I listened to it initially. But nights? Yeah, nights. It's Five like, minutes long, crikey! I'm saying. And the, the beat switch happens like, it, it's nothing special. It's, <laughs> at least not to me anyways. Um, But yeah. So the songs that I like off that album are Self Control, White Ferrari, Future of Free, Good Guy's Good Too, Solo is Good, uh, Provider's a really good single. I'm surprised that it never got on to any albums before. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, discuss this this game you've been playing recently. Mm-hmm. The, uh, what is it? We Are Billions or something? They like Are that? Billions. They Are Billions. What is that all about? It's like a, it's a real more like a, it's, it's, it, it's an RTS game. And it's um basically the whole premise is that you're just sort of like building a settlement okay. to survive a zombie apocalypse. Right, right. And periodically a horde of zombies will like charge at you. And there's like zombies on the map, so you have to be careful how you expand. Okay. And um, yeah, there's two modes. I'm playing the campaign right now. Right. And the uh, But in like the normal mode is that you just basically try to like... You're on a randomly generated map. You try to build a colony. Mm-hmm. And eventually... It's, it's, a, it's basically... You just play until you die. Right, okay. Where okay. at the very end, it literally just keeps on sending wave after wave of zombies after you. Okay, right, right. So you, you just you just wait till you're fucked. You know? That sounds, uh... Are, are you enjoying it? Is it a good game so far? As far as you're Oh, yeah, concerned? yeah. I've, I've had it for like a year, but they just came out with the campaign. Right, right. So I was just like, okay, like a I'll, whole new I'll try this shit. All right. You know what? I support it. Would recommend. So I wanted to talk to you about something that I find really linguistically interesting. Because mm-hmm. um, I've been uh, brushing up on my Japanese again recently. Oh, um, shit. Just to, you know, get some more down that I didn't have before. <laughs> and I've realized that there's not a language in this world uh, that caters to people who have lisp. <laughs> like, for example, the Japanese word for bedroom is shinshitsu. Mm-hmm. So... That's just difficult for me to say on general principle. And then, of course, they've got a thousand other words, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then and then they just have like a bunch of words that mean all mean the same thing. And I'm like, why? Why? 
Explain. I hear that's I hear that's like how French is. Is it really? Everyone complains it's just like it's just fucking um You say like five different words for the same same thing and you're just like why? <laughs> why? Welcome to the This is why the French man. always got invaded. <laughs> <laughs> they just had too many words. No, no one, one what like, the hell they were saying. No one gave a shit about the fucking uh <laughs> Like land value, yeah. cities, culture. Oh, no. They were just fucking upset about the fucking. <laughs> they just want to destroy their language. <laughs> you will die. Oh, oh, okay. Why are you doing this? Because your language because is dumb. That sentence you just said can be said four different ways. <laughs> ah. Oh, <laughs> and and to help me brush up on my Japanese, I started talking to some. Japanese people. Can you turn oh, your shit. car down, sir? I'm doing a show in here. Anyways. Um and so I was I was talking to this guy named Now. He lives in <sighs> Hiroshima. Oh my. Um that, that's kind of a topic that I, I, I have to like <laughs> tiptoe around when I'm talking to Congratulate him on surviving for me. <laughs> um but yeah, so I, I was talking to him and he asked me, he said, so my friend mm -hmm. call calls me dog from time to time. <laughs> My American friend. And I'm like, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. And he says, I never thought about this, but we're the, I think we're the only fucking <laughs> culture of people that do this shit in English. At least it's like, you know, she says things to me like, yeah, dog or what's up dog, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he was wondering, is it an insult? Or is it a compliment or a term of endearment? And I sat back and I was like, man, we do use a lot. We have a lot of words to describe people using animals, don't we? <laughs> you know, we use dog. We uh, some 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 people up in the north will use cat. You know, what's mm -hmm. up, cat? That kind of thing. Um, we we refer to people as rats and snakes when we don't like them. And 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 to the to these Japanese people, it's a totally foreign concept. They don't understand it. They're like, why? <laughs> It, it makes no sense, and I and you know I don't we don't think about this kind of thing mm. until we're confronted with it. <clears throat> and so, when well, he actually brought it up to me and made me think about it, I was like, "Why do we do that?" <laughs> Explain. <laughs> well, I mean, whenever like you say like "What's up, dog?" It's sort of like a term of endearment. Mm -hmm. I mean, dogs are very endearing. You know, mm -hmm. there's all kinds of people who post doggos on their Facebook, and they're just like, "Oh, look at the doggo." Yeah, of so course. It's a good. It's a positive denotation. Right. You know, um, but then you have other other things like snake and rat, which are insults. I had to explain to him what a snitch was. Oh shit! He, he didn't know what that was either. He was like, "What's a snitch?" And I was like, "Okay." So I used a crime example, obviously. I was like, well, Do you know a man named Timothy? <laughs> are you a snitch, Tim? Uh, no. Oh well, then why why would you bring yourself up? I'm just it's it's a joke, you know. <laughs> Take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? So that, so that, oh, well, do snitches get people assassinated? Is that a thing now? <laughs> they got to cover their own backs, dude. You know what? You got a point. If, if they're going to rat you out for just doing, I guess, illegal shit, then why wouldn't they just I mean, people rat don't you really, out for knowing that you're a snitch? People don't really care about that kind of thing anymore now, do they? In the modern day, <laughs> like fucking 6 9 he just fessed up and gave up like 20 people. You know, <laughs> they're, just, they're just like, okay, yeah, that's fair. Back in the day, people were fucking scared to snitch because they knew if they got out, you know, and, and everyone else found out they snitched, they were going to fucking die anyway. So they'd rather go mm. to prison. They'd rather take the rap sheet. <laughs> but I also learned there's a sort of a double standard where you can you can snitch on someone if mm. it's protecting your own in a sense. But you don't you don't <laughs> snitch to the cops because that's that's making allies. Mm hmm. When you when you snitch on someone, you're you're making a new ally, and so if you make allies with the cops, well, everyone's gonna fucking hate you then. But if I was to <laughs> if I was to snitch on a gang that I'm a part of to another gang, well, now I'm affiliated with this other gang, and they might they they might want to take me in because I was willing to rat out these motherfuckers, you know. So it's all it's all there's all there's politics. a lot of politics. It's a lot that of politics <laughs> that come with gang life. Who would have guessed? Or used to anyway. I, I don't know if it's such a fucking thing anymore. 
Yeah. Have they just chilled out? Like, yeah. <laughs> Bloods and Crips to see each other on the side of the street. They're, they're just, just like, like, whatever. Hey, fuck it. You a bitch. <laughs> we ain't gonna kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, and people just snitch now. You know, no one cares. They they you know, just do whatever I guess, they want. I guess it'd be the logical thing to me if someone got out and was like, "Yeah, I, I gave up Joey because I didn't want to fucking go down for thirty years." I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> if he's the one who actually did it, fuck him." And even if he's not the one who actually did, I'm getting myself out of that situation. <laughs> I'll drag whoever down that I have to. If they're like, Tim did this, I'd be like, fuck yeah, Tim did that. You're damn right. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just getting the beat shit, or the shit beating out of me, and I just, you just pass by and just like, hey man, I just want you to know, we're totally cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm I deserve this. I'm completely unscarred. And I walk by and I'm like, Tim, I'll be sure to write you letters. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? I thought, what about the no snitching rule? Man, shut the fuck up and take this rap sheet. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> yeah, damn it. But anyways, you may have noticed if you follow me on social media, mm-hmm. I have a black eye. <laughs> and uh, I've yes. been working this black Atiki, eye. Tiki uh, game ref- referred to that. Yes. What happened? I, well, I was at jujitsu. You know, things were mm-hmm. cool. It was Friday night. It was a Friday mm. night at jiu-jitsu. All right. What a way to spend my Friday night. Pay the picture. <laughs> it was Friday. Oh, yeah. Let me do like a fucking a noir. It was Friday night at jiu-jitsu. 6.30 p.m. I put my blue gi on and I walk into the building. <laughs> Anyways, we're, we're, we're doing uh, positional sparring, which is where it's exactly what it sounds like. You start in a certain position and you fight from there. Mm. Um, we're doing that. And I was trying to, you know, fucking get the jump on this dude. And as he's going, and keep in mind, this guy's a fucking firefighter, so he's built like a fucking goddamn brick shit house. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> and Tiki, I don't even know who you are. Who <laughs> roasted? Damn. She knows who you are. Obviously. What she the you fuck? Pedo, so. Um, what the hell? <laughs> anyways, like I was saying, so this guy's fucking built, right? And he's coming, mm. he's coming up, and I'm going down, and his head slams right into my fucking eye. Mm. And I was like, ah! And he was like, oh, I'm sorry, man. And I'm like, it's okay. And, the, and, we, and then we kept going, and then whenever the round ended and I went up to go get my water, I was like, my eye is still burning. <laughs> I was like, I am gonna have a black eye. So I took my water bottle. <laughs> which had ice in it, and I put it on my eye until the round started. Uh, it's going to be a black eye. I got home, and it wasn't that bad. I woke up the next day, and I was like, oh, that's bad. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the not good. You just got a nose job, dude. Yeah, exactly. You know, people don't understand. Wait, was I not on that episode? Which episode? Episode 33. Episode 33? Yep. How the fuck am I supposed to remember what happened on episode 33? What? You don't constantly watch these back, Tim, to make sure your performance <laughs> is ever-changing? What's wrong? <laughs> that was the one what? with uh, Isaac. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know your handle on Twitch. <laughs> so, uh, Tim, how's the, how's the D&D game coming along? I, I've ran into a little bit of complications okay. because I just figured out something. What's that? Is that the D&D that uh, the uh, site offers right now is a light version. It's not the complete uh, edition of D&D. Oh, okay. So, what we- so there's a little complications with that. Okay. I might have to put it on hold until... Because um, me, Caleb, and the rest are uh, doing like a... Making another or doing like a different campaign. Uh huh. So, but we're planning to get like a book and all that. So, I'm just gonna see if I can like uh, after we get it for Caleb's account, I'll just use his account. Right, right. Just yeah. rehost it and just like transfer just everything do it, over and just use the actual book. Right, right. So, Ugh. it's just a bit, a little, little bit of sorting out. Yeah, it's okay. We're all good. And I will say that I love you too if you just uh, remove that. You know that that little. That little name, that little meme, <laughs> that little joke. Is that what it is? I thought these were facts, boy. <sighs> <laughs> Anywho. It's getting concerning is all I'm saying. 
Is this what I'm going to be known for? <laughs> God damn it. Um, All I know is that I'm going to be walking in the middle of fucking Walmart, and some person's going to be like, hey, it's Tim the Pedophile. It's like, <laughs> don't, don't, don't say that. Oh, I was hoping you'd be like on a date or something. And you're out to dinner, and it's like, oh, it's the pedophile. And you're like, son of a bitch. <laughs> And now everyone thinks that I'm legit because I'm getting defensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's that's too good. I'm um, going to get executed because of this. And it's going to be all of y'all's <laughs> faults. This is how my life is going to end. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, what else is going on in the world, Tim? Chicken sandwiches and shit? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> What happened? Did a guy like try to rob yeah, a Popeyes some, or something? Some dude went into a Popeyes. Or I think it was a couple. It, it was two people. They went into <laughs> a Popeyes with a gun and were like, "We mm. give us the fucking chicken sandwich, you motherfuckers!" And uh, obviously, th- these fucking people, after they got done laughing their asses off, uh, <laughs> probably made them the chicken sandwich. I think they got arrested. Well, no, I don't. I think they were out of chicken chicken sandwiches, and then oh, they were right. just like they pulled a gun on them. It was like, give us some chicken sandwiches, and they're just like, we yeah, okay. Time. Even if you have a gun, that doesn't change the <laughs> fact that we don't have fucking chicken. Is, it, is this gonna be like a hostage situation where they have to bring in the Popeyes chicken? <laughs> like, go ahead, put it on the desk. And it's like, okay, <laughs> man, shit, man. They bring in a fucking like um armored vehicle that has just like a Popeye symbol yeah. on it. <laughs> They have like an armed guard, just like, all right, it's a chicken. The Popeyes just don't do anything crazy. When they tried to send over McChickens instead of the Popeyes chicken sandwich. Oh shit! Can you imagine? I, I mean, I mean, I haven't fucking had it because we don't have a fucking. Do we have? We don't have Popeyes, right? We don't have Popeyes. Hmm. We don't have a Chick Fil A. <laughs> I can't try any of this shit. We're fucked. Yeah, we we're don't, fucked. We, we don't have anything cultured like you people. Yeah. What is? This? Although, I will say. I've actually been eating uh, the food from Allsup's recently, mm. um, but uh, because in it, initially I just associated it as like it, it, it's whatever you know. I, I never mm. really ate it, never really tried. But I've been I've been experimenting. Are you real aware they have like a fucking heart attack pizza thing over there? Yes, they have deep fried pizza. Okay, I haven't tried that yet, but I was looking at it and I was well, yeah. just like perplexed <laughs> by the concept. Well, my friend Robert, he was just like, we went into All Subs the other day, and then like he was just like, oh, dude, they have deep fried pizza. And I just looked at him, just like, hey, you tried that? <laughs> I saw it, but I never tried it. <laughs> and you're trying to tell me that you actually looked at that and ate it. Oh, you support this. <laughs> God damn it, that's funny. <laughs> like, I expect this from, like, I don't know, like, East Coast. Yeah. I didn't expect this to be in, like, Ho-Dunk. Yeah, in fucking Clovis, of all mm-hmm. places. I was I was just perplexed by it, because I'm looking at it, and I'm like, is that, is that good? Is, it, <laughs> is this, like, what, is this what the people demand? Just, <laughs> next time you guys go to the all subs, just, like, look at this, like, is this a favorite? <laughs> Do people consistently buy this? Yeah, actually sell, well, they have to, because they only ever have, like, one in there whenever I come in. <laughs> so I'm like, they must be selling them, I assume. What happens if that's, like, the only one they, like, prepared, and it's just been in there for, like, a week? <laughs> it's Clovis, of course it makes it. No, it doesn't. We have nothing unique here. There's nothing <laughs> special about this town. The most special thing we got here recently was whenever McDonald's actually did those fucking national menu bullshit things. That they, where they sold <laughs> fucking bacon cheese fries like it was an otherworldly par- uh, product from fucking Australia and shit. We you don't know, have anything here. We have nothing. It's better than what I was. I thought you were going to say was going to be either the shooting or the suicide. Well, I mean, those those aren't unique, you know. Oh, well, you know. People commit nowadays. suicide and shoot people every day, so that's, that's not that special. <laughs> <laughs> that's to be expected. Right? <laughs> that, that's a staple of the American. <laughs> <laughs> it's a staple of America, you know. Oh, Clovis Opoly? I saw that shit at Walmart, and I was just like, excuse me? No, she has a Who copy of it. Who the fuck okayed this? She, she has a copy of it. <laughs> all right, I've lived here all my life, and I'm going to talk as much shit about Clovis as I want, because fuck this place. All right? Mm-hmm. You can't make me like it here. You can't make me <laughs> pretend to like it here. I hate this town. I can't oh, wait God. to leave this country. All right? Oh, speaking of which, Tim, I, I needed to tell you, and you know, I guess everyone who's here, 
Um, I've come to the, to a to a decision of what mm. I'm finally doing after oh, I finish this third degree that I have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because after the third degree, the, you need you need three degrees to get into Japan. So. Um, oh no! Oh. Okay. But you you don't need. But it, but it, it helps. <laughs> like, oh, what he, happens if a, I get a PhD? A smart American. That's technically <laughs> worth. <laughs> They'd be like, hmm. <laughs> this one is smart American, but this one is the very smart American. <laughs> Why does my Japanese sound like Northern European? <laughs> what is happening? Sukabiato. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like a mixture. It's 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 a uh, Slav and uh, Okinawan mixed together. No, <laughs> oh shit! Uh, oh, whoa! Oh, am I good? Oh. Am I good? Hello? Do I sound fine? It's not an ear rape, so okay. I think we're fine. Um, what was I getting ready to say? Uh, oh, Sla- Slavonawan is what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> it's a mixture of Slav and Okinawan slang. Mm, yes, the <laughs> famous colony. <laughs> uh, Slavnokia. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, after I finish this next degree, I am moving away oh, shit. to Japan to live with my friend Ume, oh, where fuck. I'm going to be working at a law firm in Tokyo. So, <laughs> well, she ain't. I'll miss you guys. Some of you. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll miss you. We'll probably uh, somewhat. Me and Tim will somewhat remain in contact. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Everything we do is tied to this brand. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to think. Are we gonna be able to do like a uh oh, cross, fuck. The, cross the ocean somewhat oh, okay God. podcast? Where I'm gonna be up know, at like, like three in the morning and it's fucking eight here, you know? Like, Hello. <laughs> uh, all I'm saying is that I'm going to uh I demand to be the one who does it <laughs> whose time is at night. Yeah, no, you no, have no, to no. do it in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? It, when I was over there, it was fucking crazy to me because mm. um, I texted my friend Elizabeth and I was like, yeah, you know, uh, tomorrow uh, on Friday. I, I don't know why I'm saying Friday. It, it should be tomorrow. And she was like, what do you mean? It's Wednesday. And I was like, no, mm. it's Thursday because I'm in Japan <laughs> and she's in the United States. She was like, oh, shit, you're ahead of us. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, that's great. And then I would call someone at like nine o'clock at night and it's like six in the morning here, you know? <laughs> yeah. And you're like, Jesus Christ. What the fuck, bro? It's so early. And I'm like, dude, I'm about to go to bed. What are you talking about? It's early. It's fucking. <laughs> Moving to Japan is to put my sleep schedule back on track. Okay. <laughs> that's, because... that's the only way to fix <laughs> the average Gen Z. <laughs> And millennial. Exactly. I'm just sleep schedule is just moving halfway I'm across jump the world. Countries <laughs> into a completely different time zone, and that's how I'm gonna live my life. I'm probably gonna go to Canada. I'm just gonna be like, Are you? I'm just gonna be like, Bye, America. Fuck this shit. <laughs> well, I mean, is that the mood? Is that what you're doing? I well, you're gonna, I don't gonna know. finish up your psychology degree and go to Canada. <laughs> That, yes, that, because that, Canada that, is notorious for needing its psychology. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. That that's you know that's the the least cliche thing you could do. You know, some <laughs> some people would move to like Albuquerque, maybe Lubbock, somewhere in Texas. You're just gonna you and me, we're gonna jump countries. Granted, my <laughs> jump's a little bit more extreme than yours is. But yours <laughs> are you keeping me just like <laughs> yours is not as cool as mine? Okay. but you know. Bro. <laughs> I'm moving across the world, okay? <laughs> no. Um, yeah. I can just imagine him just being like taking photos and like posting social media, just like, oh, I'm moving to Canada. And you're just like, wow, you think this is hard? <laughs> just imagine whenever I had to pack oh. everything and try to ship it across the sea, man. Oh, you think moving to Canada is hard? <laughs> I've been thinking about China. Why would you ever want to go to China? China's a bit iffy. Yeah, that is like... I can exper- I can say from experience. <laughs> yeah, Tim's been there, and I'm just going based off of what I've, I, I you know, I've seen and heard. But uh, hmm. yeah, China's like uh, top five places I would never move to, or even consider moving to. <laughs> China. It's pretty iffy on like if I would even want to go like visit it. Yeah. For like vacation. China. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, I might visit it maybe, but I'm definitely not gonna live there. <laughs> Let's see. You got China, North Korea. Brazil, uh, 
Yeah, Brazil is pretty. It's it's definitely yeah. a no for me. Yeah. Brazil like the North moment Korea soccer season starts, I can just imagine like there's fucking murders in the streets. <laughs> they go harder than the fucking Crips, probably. <laughs> you know, I don't think I don't think they stop for, uh, you know, uh, soccer. I think it's just an everyday thing. Oh there. god! <laughs> they had to invent Brazilian jiu-jitsu for a reason. You know, <laughs> they had to fucking defend themselves from these goddamn savages walking down the street. <laughs> so, fuck Brazil. Yeah. Fuck China. Fuck North Korea. <laughs> fuck most third world countries. Oh, uh, God. Fuck Australia, because it's not even real. Um, <laughs> conspiracy. That's the real conspiracy. <laughs> Everyone's talking about Espen and all this bullshit. Uh-huh. But we're, they're, we're missing the obvious hidden agenda of hiding away where Australia really is. We got uh, to be careful, Tim. You know, we, <laughs> we, we unveiled the Epstein-Kermit conspiracy. <laughs> uh, now we're talking about Australia. We're not going to be around much longer. People are going to think we just ditched shit and went to the countries we were talking about, but we're actually going to be dead. <laughs> if, this, if this if this talk show ever dies, just know that we were silenced. Yeah, we were silenced. And silenced and censored. Me versus the world. That's what it is. We were the We were the young rebels trying to free our fellow countrymen. However, I will support the move to Canada, though. Canada's fine. <laughs> Canada's fine. Um, yeah, like, probably, like, sticking like towards, like, there, the Tim. south Canada yeah, is probably like fine, it. but, like... Are you, are you planning on moving west? Western Can- Canada? Canada. <laughs> Western Canada. Or uh, Eastern Canada. Well, see, the thing is, is that... The thing about Canada is that I'm pretty sure sometime in the future, America's invaded. Okay. And it's integrated into northern Monta- <laughs> Montana. <laughs> All right. I so I got to be careful because even though I jump ship, I could just end back up. In yeah, the... right back where you were. <laughs> the, um... I just like I just like I just finish out all my paperwork and it's like finally I'm a Canadian citizen. Then it's like America, the declares, oh. America declares war. <laughs> yeah, it turns like, into so a fucking war. So is my zone. American stuff still legal or right. do I have dual citizenship? That's a well, big, I guess it's just that's a, a citizenship make, now, but actually. I just realized that. I have to give up my American citizenship, so I can't come back once Shit. I go over there. That, that's it for me, guys. <laughs> it's a one-way trip. Yeah, I, I'm going to go to Japan, and I have to sacrifice my American citizenship to get in. So um, <laughs> That's what they do. It's like in order to get in, you have to destroy your <laughs> yeah. former citizenship you fucking, documents you got my, in this you got sacred a, fire. You got to fucking, uh, what, what, what's it called? You got to seppuku your fucking <laughs> certificates and shit. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like, why is this paper fucking talking, bro? What's going on here? I thought y'all didn't allow drugs in this country. Hold on. <laughs> you know, I thought I was moving here because there was no d- drug problem, but. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's the. I mean, they don't have mass shootings over there. That counts for anything. What about mass stabbings? Uh, once or twice, maybe. They have burn. Or they apparently have burnings. Oh yeah, that's the thing. That or like happens. arson. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a problem. Well, the thing is, for every one thing that happens over in Japan, I got I to gotta think about how much shit I see happen over here. <laughs> okay, anytime, so in any- recent Japan's re- experienced the studio burning down. Right. Now we have five, what, five different shootings within a <laughs> span of a month? Yeah, like three days. You know, so that and um, their president's at least somewhat sensible. A little dictatorish, but at least somewhat sensible. You know, something I, something I can stand. He's all right. He's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take Shinzo Abe over what we have over here any day of the week. <laughs> any day of the week. <clears throat> but, yeah. I might move to a third world country and just start a revolution. I don't know. Come the new Coney. Might, felt cute. Might invade your country later. <laughs> <laughs> might inspire your children to fight and die for an ideology. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even work. Um, yeah, no. So, uh, I, I've been thinking about that recently, so I'm, I'm getting started on that. Save, oh, you know, just saving up all my moonies. <laughs> fucking talking to my friend Ume. Uh, she's the one that I got, um, unabashedly blackout drunk with in Japan. <laughs> last time we talked about that. So, uh, yeah. Well, hopefully while you're over there, you can, um, you can find, uh, you can meet more apparently very famous Japanese stars. Oh yeah, by accident. Blackout drunk. 
by complete accident. That's going to be my thing. I'm going to start carrying a fucking GoPro on me, dude. Gotta, gotta, gotta <laughs> you need to become a shit. vlogger, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I'm going to do. Once I get to it's Japan. It's somewhat okay vlog. Once I get to Japan, I'm just going to 24-7 stream my entire life. Constantly. Forever. Non-stop. Non-stop oh, vlogging. Three, three, 365, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. <laughs> All the time. You're just walking into office with like a giant like <laughs> headpiece just full of cameras. Oh, yeah. And I let them know beforehand so they're cool with it. You know, I got to mute the audio whenever I'm doing the paralegal stuff, you know. <laughs> can't, can't let that get out into the world. Just in the mundane shit, just sitting down, eating dinner by myself <laughs> in my little apartment. That's a, it's a mukbang at that point. <laughs> you know what? It's what, it's what the people look for. Asian to. culture, but what is Tyler gonna? Oh yeah, that's right. That's the thing, isn't it? What? Uh, it's, it's a big thing over in Asian countries, isn't it? Watching. People oh yeah. Food. Well, I think that's primarily Korean. Is it? Sure. That I think so. That sounds right. That's probably right. I mean, Not probably there's Korean. like a lot of Asian countries partake in it, but I think mukbang is originally Korean. Yeah, that sounds right. Muk. Yeah, became. Oh shit! This thing is this has been popular since a while. Oh, 2010 <laughs> in South Korea in Hanja. Okay, so they call their little. Fancy little alphabet Hanja. Okay. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. This is what we countries. get for not letting the Northern Koreans win. <laughs> I mean, I, I all I'm saying is every every fucking Asian country's got their variation of Hanja, mm. Kanji, fucking. Oh no, I was just talking about mukbang. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. No, I I fully realize. It. Well, I, is, is this really a bad thing necessarily? You know, if you're lonely and you want to talk to people while you're eating. Maybe just not be a nerd, you fucking hussy. Asian eh? Asian countries are statistically pretty lonely. <laughs> to be fair. So, and that's uh, why if I'd or maybe Japan's right for me. I can just be like counseling. Oh yeah, you want to come with him? We, we can start a joint <laughs> firm together. It'll be fun. <laughs> just half gone into a wreck. Half legalism, me, half psychology. Me. <laughs> they can they can be they can be psychologically evaluated psychologist at the same time. Well, come on down. <laughs> Let's get you psychologically evaluated before we start. Hey, yo, Tim. Uh, what? what? What's <laughs> going on? You can come in here. This fucking guy fucking wrecked or some shit. They, they, don't, speak oh. Eng- they don't speak English. So you can I, say the fuck <laughs> I, don't just, I didn't learn Japanese. This fucking... No, no, no. Hello no. there. <laughs> we just both speak English and they don't. So we're just like, this fucking idiot rammed his car into a goddamn street pole or some shit. He says he needs fucking counseling now. We're just very yeah, rude in like, English, <laughs> but then you're very nice in Japanese. I know. Timu san here. He uh, he'll help you. He'll <laughs> you just see, just like, just like, well, you know, I've been lonely. It's like, <laughs> have you considered not being a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> you just like translate it to not saying. Have you maybe considered, you know, reaching out to some people who actually <laughs> care about you? Because let me tell you, <laughs> one of my favorite jokes is uh. It goes, uh, so I told my therapist I've been having suicidal thoughts recently. So he told me I have to pay all my sessions in advance now. Mm-hmm. Get it? What? God damn it. <laughs> Take a look Fuck. at the chat, Tim. We got. Why? Uh, we, it, it's nonstop. It's Why? <laughs> you know, this is, it is my fault because the more I say I don't want it, the more it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. That, that, so, it's a yeah, effect, dude. We, we've talked about the strides in the Until effect I exactly murder them. three times on this podcast. And this is the third time we've mentioned the strides <laughs> effect in this podcast. I'm going to start keeping tally of every psychological manifestation that we start to mention commonly <laughs> on this podcast. My, fa- my favorite know- thing in Japan is going to be combining speaking Japanese with uh, English curse words. <laughs> so you be like, where, where is this You're thing? Like, <laughs> don't, don't get that scared. And I'll be like... <laughs> I mean, shin, 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 shin shitsu. They're like, what in the fucking shin shitsu? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so just effectively, you know, and that's a, that's a problem that I find I have is when I start speaking Japanese, I'll start throwing English words in there. But I find that every language seems to do that. You know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I hear a lot of, uh, at least in Cebuano, they seem to have a lot of in, in, in Cebu in the Philippines. 
they seem to have a lot of uh, English words in there, and they'll, and they'll just say it amongst all this Spanish shit that I can't understand. Mm-hmm. They're like, shut up, computer. Oh, I caught one word. I caught one word. Yeah, it happens a lot. I think that's like them like regrouping in yeah. a sense. They're just like pausing for like what what can they call it? Yeah, but. It's like, oh, well, just time to default well, to uh, American. You know, in fucking, in Japanese, they have some words that they've they've just taken the English word and given it Japanese pronunciation. <laughs> Teburu is table. All right. <laughs> Puru is you, you know, one might think that's very stereotypical, but I guess it is. <laughs> Com- computer is computer. Okay. I can't. Yeah. So they, uh, just a lot of words, they just translate it, and they have, like, no curse words. No creative <laughs> ones, anyways. <laughs> so I, I'm just gonna have to supplement, you know, English curse, curse words into my Japanese language. The only negative about moving overseas is that they just don't have any fun curse, curse words. That's, <laughs> that's the one thing I I regret from this move. <laughs> it's not a, it's not a vulgar enough country, you know. And that's it's all fact. about the respect. That's, yeah, that's a fact too. I I was talking to um, oh, what was his name? Oh, the, the guy I was talking to now, I was on the phone with him, and he was mm. talking about, I was like, so you like to watch movies on Netflix, right? And he was like, yeah, I like to watch uh, Horrible Bosses. And I was like, oh, Charlie Day's in that, isn't he? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting there, and he's like, yeah, but too much uh, F word in that show. <laughs> and I was like, oh, really? <laughs> you think so? That's an issue. <laughs> I was like, that's a problem? Eres estupido, fucker. Oh, God. Anata wa mugaku desu ne. Manko Kokujin. Now, anyways, um, <laughs> love the, this is the this is the pro of learning another language. Mm-hmm. Is uh, you can just curse people out, and they have no fucking clue. It sounds everything in Japanese sounds fine, you know, if mm-hmm. if you just say it with that happy fucking tone. Whereas in English, we we hear and we're like, oh, he said this and this and this. This is, this is insulting, you know. But in Japanese, everything just sounds like fucking hunky dory, all the mm-hmm. time. And you're like, okay, I love it. <laughs> Wonderful. This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, what else has been going on in the world, Tim? Uh, the South fucked up again. What happened now? There was the whole like the whole issue with the um, what is it like in Missouri? Some like <clears throat> like the couple was setting up for a wedding. And then, like their uh, the place they were like host or like that was hosting it, mm-hmm. pulled out the last second because they found out that apparently the couple is uh they're interracial. Oh, okay. So that yeah, I I did read that news headline, but I didn't actually read into it. So and then like there's like the woman in the couple like recorded the main or like the lady like explaining herself. She's just like, well, you see, uh, I'm Christian, so therefore I can't support this. Oh. It's part of my faith. And the girl was just like, yeah, I'm Christian too. Why in the Bible does it say that we can't do this? <laughs> it's just like, well, I'm not here to discuss my faith. And that's where you know they have, they're have they yeah. just being assholes. They're just being prejudiced just to be prejudiced. And then I, I, I hate the – here's the thing. If you're going to be racist or homophobic or whatever it's going to be, don't try to mm. pin it on some religion, okay? But then you make everything <laughs> Just like own that. up to it. Just own – that's what I tell people. I don't – if you're prejudiced and you own it, I'll be like, you know what? Fuck yeah. You know what? Because, <laughs> just because you own up to it and you're like, I'm just a fucking racist. I'd be like, all right. You know what? I can accept that. But I, what I can't accept is when you're like, we want to kill gays and we and we don't support any relational relationships because God or God or Allah or whoever the fuck they're trying to <laughs> pin this shit on. Meanwhile, Allah's up there like, what the fuck are they saying? I, said, I didn't say any of this shit. <laughs> what the hell? Leave me out of this. <laughs> don't you put my name out there. I didn't do shit. So, yeah fucking stop it all right i've had it if you're gonna be an asshole just just be an asshole just just be an asshole just own up to it all right don't try to tell me it's your culture it's the fucking <laughs> it's, just it's your religion it's how you were raised okay because here's the thing you can, you, can, you can learn all right you can learn and you can grow and all this other bullshit that fucking the motivational motherfuckers will tell you mm-hmm. you can you can become a different person all right regardless of your situation <laughs> the Germans were Christians. That's why they killed the Jews. <laughs> you know what? 
You pro- <laughs> I think it? the best part Hitler about was this. Christian, wasn't he? He was a Christian, right? Yeah. Okay, the, I think, sure. yeah. That was Stalin, like hard line. Stalin was There's a hard line push. Unless I'm mistaken. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. sounds right. Stalin well, was... Like the best part about like the marriage situation too, though, was just like the woman, this like, she made like a apology post. Uh-huh. And in it, she's just like, well, even though the Bible never said anything about interracial stuff, I just sort of assumed it. I'm just like, oh, okay. Because what? based what? off of what? <laughs> It's just like, what? How does this help you? (laughs) You know, speaking of the Jews. How in any way does this defend your point of view? (laughs) Uh, Speaking of the Germans, uh, did we talk about the battle tactics that I learned about that the the Germans used so that they could do the Blitzkrieg? (laughs) Did we talk about this? I think so. And how they just fucking chugged meth? Oh, God. Ran into the battle. God damn, that's so crazy to me. Because when we think, what of did the world, Japanese chug to do kamikaze or what is it? Probably bonsai a charges. whole lot of oh bonsai charges. Uh, you know, I, I think that was just all natural. You know, they had the <laughs> that's whole. Just, they were just, that's all. They were, I they think were that just, makes it scarier. They, yeah, exactly. These guys are so high on like honor and you know just uh, national pride. It's a very nationalistic nation. Mm-hmm. Um. That they don't need any drugs, all right? They, <laughs> them doing this for their country is all they fucking need. <laughs> <laughs> they just, they're just all about it, and you're yeah. just like, ah, oh, sh- that's, how, that's how you know these guys weren't dedicated enough, all right? <laughs> that's why the Germans lost, all right? That's why the UK fucking sucks, all right? <laughs> they were pumping Germans their guys full easily of fucking painkillers and shit, and the Germans were doing meth. Can you imagine if you they, they give you this shit and you know meth it, it's not it wasn't like a treated thing back then you know it's not mm. it's not like how we think of meth today Can you imagine you you number one you get jocked into going into this fucking war you don't want to be a part of and then two <laughs> if you actually live through it you come out of it with a whole new fucking addiction that you never wanted in the fucking first place they just hand you mm. this little pouch and we're like take this you know <laughs> and you being the good little soldier you are you went along with it and now you're addicted to meth Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you for serving your country. You gave us your life. We gave you meth addiction. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> but then, you know, it comes back to the discussion we had last time. When I think of the Japanese during that time period, I always think of the guy, the Japanese soldier that hit out in the Philippines and hit out there for like fucking 30 oh, years yeah. or something like that. Because mm-hmm. he didn't believe the war was over. And they had to send people out there to be like, hey, bro, dude, stop it. Please. You, you Can you just chill out, bro? <laughs> Can you... Like, come on, dude. Come on, bro. It's just a prank, bro. Or no, it's not a prank. Get, get the fuck, get, get in the car. <laughs> this, is, so this is a prank and it's just like immediately shoots one of them. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine that if that happened in the modern day? God. I mean, it, it couldn't with all the technology that we have and whatnot, but wouldn't it just be fucking... Mm-hmm. You'd be like, yo, look at this fucking guy cosplaying, dude. He's a fucking... He's one of those fucking LARP motherfuckers. <laughs> and the guy's like, oh, shit. They found me. <laughs> oh! Oh, God! <laughs> I die! Oh, no. Oh, ah! All I can imagine is just like, it'll be like in 2,000 years in the future when we're just like across the stars and shit. And then, like, there's a civil war, <laughs> and, like, it ends. But there's, like, one entire planet that didn't get the memo. Yeah. They're just, like, they're just coming back there, and it's like, holy shit, what is going on here? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> man shoots and stabs children to death in the forest today. <laughs> Apparently, he didn't know the war was over. Doesn't he have Twitter? What a fucking moron. <laughs> the news is just... No, like, okay, <laughs> see, in the future it'll never happen because everyone will just know, just like, that's how en- wars will be ended. They're just going to tweet it out. They're just going to be like, A, the United Earth Colonies and the Outer Earth Col- or the Outer Colonies. Hey, guys. We cool now. <laughs> we saw, they do like a Twitter live of them signing the treaties and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pay-per-view though. <laughs> this is a fucking pay-per-view on Twitter Live. We we've removed TV entirely. Oh, God. You have to you have to get all your you fucking all your media from YouTube and 
Twitter and Facebook <laughs> and shit. There was a huge war over which site got what, got what, you know. You only watch <laughs> UFC on Twitter now. Mm-hmm. Fucking HBO's on YouTube. I mean, we're getting there already with the, with the with the movies and shows being on YouTube now. We're already halfway there. YouTube's going to knock YouTube. out everyone else. It's going to be a one-stop <laughs> shop for streaming everything. Yeah, YouTube in the end is going to win. Yeah. They're just going to like everyone's just like we're going to make our own streaming service. Except we have nothing to stand on except for one show. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of kind of seems to be what HBO goes through, doesn't it? Mm. They had like Game of Thrones and then yeah, that was the thing, is that they were, like, worried. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I bet. Because I think, did they offer, like, some deal after Game of Thrones ended? They were just like, hey, can, can you guys uh, maybe stay with us? Yeah, don't, you know, just because Game of Thrones is over doesn't mean you have to cancel your HBO subscription, we have, right? We have other good shows, yeah. I swear. Look, we just made Chernobyl. <laughs> okay, yeah, they got them some bonus points. You know? But to be fair, I don't think the hype lived enough to keep them afloat. Yeah, I, we'll I see. Mean, I haven't. I, well, yeah, they got to. Are they doing another season? What? And then Disney's gonna be like, "Come to us, YouTube." Well, oh god, they already own like a bunch of uh, MCNs, don't they? Oh yeah, like makers and all that. <laughs> yeah, so they already own a bunch of YouTube. Who who's on makers? PewDiePie was. Is Markiplier? Yeah, also? he was. And Game Grumps too, unless I'm mistaken. I think Maker shut down though, or at least Maker Studios. Oh, it's now the Disney Digital Network. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they're just like straight up. They're just like God. at first we were just hiding over <laughs> under this <laughs> yeah. this like, facade, uh-huh. but now we're just like we're a brand, and you'll learn. You're gonna like it. Yeah. So they got. All right. Let's see. They got. Uh, Consider the Source, Tessa Violet, Chasm G, Timothy De La Ghetto, Peter Shuckoff, uh, Epic Rap Battles of History, uh, da, 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 Snoop Dogg, apparently. Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, uh, Robert De Niro, Kevin Smith. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, PewDiePie was there for a while, then he got dropped. Um, how about that? Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't that a yeah, kick in the head? Disney just owns every. At least when I go to Japan, I'm not gonna have to hear about any more fucking Disney shit all the time. Now it's just gonna be <laughs> whatever fucking anime is huge at the time. <laughs> I might have to hear about that. Now we can actually talk about weeb shit. Because <laughs> oh, you'll be forced to just watch oh, everything. I'm 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 excited for the the cross world somewhat okay podcast streams. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> I was gonna hop on here at fucking six in the morning. Good morning from Japan. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim in America, and I'm glad I picked the night <laughs> slot. <laughs> oh, we'll just trade, you know. I'm just going to trade <laughs> no, off fuck every that. other week. No, fuck Listen you. here. Listen here. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just slave drive me, Tim, okay? I don't get paid <laughs> enough to do this. I call dibs, okay? <laughs> I call shotgun. But. Uh, oh. But oh, but okay. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I. It's gonna be the fucking. I wrote the script. Oh, oh god. Oh no. <clears throat> um. What was I? I had something else in mind that I want to talk about. Now it slipped my memory. And I don't know what it was. You goddamn hussy. God damn it! You got anything interesting going on, Tim? I might com- I might be competing in November. That's cool. Oh shit! Yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, like a little tournament? Yeah, a little jujitsu tournament. Hey, there you go. Yeah, Tim's gonna come out and film it. Simi Graham. <laughs> Tim's, gonna- Tim's gonna help me become the world's first fucking jujitsu vlo- uh, blogger. <laughs> oh. I just will be the cameraman. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. Or I'll fucking triangle you, bro. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> In the mid, like so every time you important. win, every time you win, you're just like subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my fucking YouTube URL stitched into my gi, like on the back. <laughs> it's gonna be talked about, like it, like people are just gonna interview, just like, what is your thoughts on Tyler <clears throat> McAllister? And this be like, 
Yeah, before we fought, he asked me to subscribe to his YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> thought that was pretty fucking weird. Oh my god! Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> it's, it's fine. But you know what? I'd, I'd do it just to do it. You know? <laughs> but I got to move to a foreign country first because that'll make it more interesting. <laughs> There's too many American Amer America American vloggers. All right, how many Japanese American vloggers do you see? All it's right. an untapped market. Exactly, and I'm gonna tap the fuck out of that market, dude. They love my blue eyes over in Japan. I'm gonna win them bitches over so easy. You don't even God know. Damn it. You don't even know. That's all well, I take. I got complimented constantly on my eyes when I was in Japan. It was weird as fuck. It's because they were different. Because people, well, the thing is, like, people here compliment me on my eyes, too, and I'm like, okay, cool. It, but it's people that I'm talking to. And I have conversations. Mm -hmm. People would come out of crowds to be like, hey, your eyes are pretty, and then they would leave. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> wow. So this is like a passive-aggressive way of flirting with someone? Like, you, you compliment them? <laughs> passive-aggressive. Like, oh, God. <laughs> I think that's just being our slash nice guys. Oh, it's just passive-aggressive. <laughs> I fucking love you, bitch. Oh, I'm never going to stop loving you, bitch. Oh, oh God. I eat. Why, well, dick pic? <laughs> you, try, you trying to see my dick? Oh. No. No, I'm not, Just no. Yeah, uh, uh, stop. Stop it. <laughs> Get some help. You were cool, and now you're... Yeah. I, <laughs> you were cool, and now you are not. Man. So I went out to Lubbock. Mm-hmm. Uh, Saturday, actually. I went to Lubbock oh. to watch, uh, some of my teammates compete and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, cause I could not compete at this one. I gotta lose weight. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta lose some weight so I can fight gotta in the division up. I want to. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, I went, I went there and then we have this little girl who she's gotta be like six or seven. Mm. I think. Her name's <laughs> Sophia. And she was competing, mm. and she won every single one of her matches by what submission, like arm oh, bars, triangles. I think, yeah, I think, I think it might have been all arm bars. And then one of her matches. So in 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 a jujitsu match, points are decided by what position you take. So if I like, pa if I take someone down, that's two mm. points. And then if I like pass their guard and get into a into side mount, that's another couple points and then if i take full amount it's basically getting dominant positions gets you points mm -hmm. but she finished one of her matches this girl had like 21 points on the board Jeez. and then she submitted Jeez. this kid she didn't need to she didn't have to she could have just controlled him to the 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 fight in it but she was like fuck him oh god and then she submitted him and i was like god damn this is crazy don't yeah, fuck with them she was she was good and 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 really really good for her age too because you know younger kids doing martial arts they're usually like you know sort of um you, you know they're they're not in there because they want to be they're in there because their parents you know dropped yeah them and made them do it it's more like just an obligation to try something yeah these kids the, the kids they have in there those kids are dedicated to this shit and i and i see why daniel's a great teacher and mm -hmm. uh, quite a few guys that went and competed they also won um gold in their division so shout out to them they had a spectator oh, fee oh god which it's pay to get in yeah like I, the grappling tournaments that I went to, they like. But you show oh. up to this one and it's fucking it's fifteen bucks. Mm -hmm. I was like, the hell? What do you mean? <laughs> the fuck? <clears throat> um, How could you do this to yeah, me? Yeah, what the hell? And so, uh, I yeah I, I went ahead and paid it and went in, did mm. what I had to do and fucking got out. Um. But yeah, if I have to, it, it was it was a fun little. I I it made me want to compete. You know, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. You're ready. Yeah, I'm ready-ish. I gotta lose a bunch of weight. Pounds. I believe in you, mate. Thank you. Only like five go out or there, so. and you're gonna murder them. I'm gonna. I hope so. Break their neck. I we just learned this choke last night that I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna use the fuck out of this. <laughs> it's it's Daniel Daniel went and uh. Fucking uh, to a seminar with this guy mm -hmm. named Keenan Cornelius, who's basically like a jujitsu god. Mm -hmm. um, like if you go to his Wikipedia page, just look at how many fucking medals this guy has. Oh God! Uh, let me find, see if I can find it for you. Keenan Cornelius. What a name! First off, 
Um, secondly, I've watched this guy roll. He does this thing at the end of his seminars where he rolls with every single person that came mm. to the seminar, and he beats <laughs> all of them. <laughs> you go ahead and click that link. Look at all those fucking medals. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what I said. <laughs> that is a lot of gold. Mm-hmm. I was sitting here like, God damn. I am not ever going to fuck with this person. <laughs> I wouldn't even joke about fucking with this person. <laughs> you know what? Because he literally hasn't... Because I feel like if I did fuck with him, a gold medal would just fly to your head. Oh. 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 Are we good? Dollar. I'm not, not still a coin. Uh, a moment as we are sorting through our technical difficulties. I hope that you all are enjoying your time here. This is not a paid promotion. But if you would like to hit that bell icon and hit the subscribe, do it. <laughs> Welcome back. Yes. But I was just saying that I'm not even going to fuck with this man. Because I feel like the moment I do, like, a, just a whole, like, a, just a melted gold will just fly through my window and just kill me. You're dead. You're dead, kid. You fucked with the wrong one. <laughs> yeah. No, he, and he seems like a good guy from what I can tell, so, you know. Mm -hmm. Shouts out to, uh, shouts out to Keenan Cornelius. <laughs> All right. My guy. There hasn't been any allegations, so... I think we're in the clear. Yeah. Um. You know, Tim, what's uh, what's going on in your life? How's uh, how's school? You know what's going? Is it not really that much to report? You know, no. I'm just just chilling around. Is Homework least... isn't really that big of an issue. Right, like, right. It's just the beginning of the semester. You know, yeah. So. No, I I wish people might be fucking away from me. Jesus. <laughs> fucking homework I gotta put up with and shit. <laughs> I fucking all right. So, first assignment. Mm. In two of my classes, the first assignment is thirty fucking questions. Jesus Christ! Plus, more stuff that we have to do. <laughs> and I'm mm. like, why? Why? <laughs> I mean, I get it. This is my major, but why? <laughs> <laughs> why do I have to do this, Mom? Yeah. What the f fuck? Um. <laughs> Yeah, it's not looking too bad. One of them's just a, a first eight weeks class, so mm -hmm. that's not going to be too terrible. I think I'm going to knock that one out pretty quickly just to get it over with. Uh, corporate <laughs> law's been easy. Family law's been easy. Intro to legal assistance studies and uh, legal writing are the ones that are really hard because they're, they're the ones that are like, we're going to give you 30 fucking questions, and uh, <laughs> you got to do it. And if you don't... You're fucked, mate. Well, fucking fuck you. Will destroy your fucking career, bro. Oh God! By career, I mean you'll never get one, cause we fuck, <laughs> cause we fucking failed you. We'll end it before it even starts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so, but you, you're you're doing pretty good so far, all things considered. Anthropology class, for me, like I don't have interest in all them. Right, right, right. For the most part, I'm pretty interested. Um. Poetry's been a little hard just because, I don't know, like, a lot of the, like, it's not, like, going over my head, but, like, a lot of the stuff, like, we're reading in the book and then just, like, trying to apply it to our own writing. I'm right, just like, right. eh. Eh. I don't, it's like, really I don't need to do this. I like it. Yeah. I write prose. Yeah. I don't write this fancy, artsy this, bullshit. I don't write this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But, I mean, it's still, it's still interesting. Like. Yeah. You know, and I'm the uh, I'm, I'm still... the examples they give. I think mostly like this, like actually reading poetry is like I don't have a problem with mm -hmm. like learning like the exact components of poetry, and it's like eh, eh. Mm -hmm. I'm uh next <laughs> next. 
I'm doing a uh, stand up comedy in is it September? November? Is it this month? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I always mix them up. Soon. Yeah. Let me check. Shrug. Let me see what the promoter said to me. Slash shrug. But yeah, come come watch me do stand up comedy because I'm funny as shit. All right. <laughs> you already watched this fucking podcast. Imagine witnessing it in person. All right. How much does it cost to get in? It's free. It's free, you just like the podcast. A goddamn reason not to come. The only thing it's going to cost you is your gas. Woo! All right. If you don't come, we'll fucking murder you. We'll fucking destroy you. Yeah. So it should be in November. Is what I'm gathering. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've got a whole another month. Yeah. Someone told me they were starting the planning for it uh, oh. Thursday, and I thought they were saying it's Thursday, and I was like, what? I'm not ready. <laughs> Shit. Wait. Please. It's too soon. You can't do this to me. I did. I just. I haven't read enough racist jokes. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna get up there and do. Oh no. I actually had this whole idea the other day about how racist totally ruined otherwise potentially good words. Oh god. Like could have been good words, you know. Like mm -hmm. could have been a great oh. superhero name. <laughs> All right. What it? Can can can't you imagine like? Great Mexican dish. Oh no! <laughs> but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Ah! <laughs> I've been censoring myself, so. I know. I, at this point, is expected. It's just like anything you say, remotely controversial. I just like. You, here it comes. All I know is that Clip people it. will just hear me reacting. <laughs> but I, I have a point, though. Come on. It could it could have been some really. <laughs> I don't think you have that much of a. I think I've got a pretty strong point going here, Tim. You know, I mean, what are some? It's not like ones? all these words were just created recently. What? No, they weren't. Fucking... Yeah, they they've been around for a while, yeah. and there's a reason why they don't. No, 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 no. I fully realize context. that. I'm saying they could have a better context. Is what I'm saying. They're ruined by. <laughs> they're ruined. They're ruined by racism. That's my point. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If racism it's didn't exist, racism's it's the otherwise ultimate totally fault. Fire. Exactly. That's that's what's wrong with racism. Not the actual act of it. The fact that it takes words away from me. They could have otherwise been cool. All right. Don't you see the potential? Yeah. You know why? Why think of like a band name? Like I don't know. Like fucking. For example, that that could be a great name. Could have been. Could have been awesome. I would watch. Them. <laughs> you know. It's like why. But no, the racists the had to come racist, in. Which is why I'm like, you know, use the offensive terms as a, <laughs> as a positive connotation so the racists can't use it anymore. Make it a compliment, all right? Take it back. Take it back, all right? Take it back like we, like white people took everything from everyone, all right? Take it back. Wait. What? Wait. <laughs> Was that racist? Uh. Debatably? I think maybe? it's more of a factual statement than anything. <laughs> God damn it. We just lost our conservative audience. <laughs> I think that's happened a while ago. Oh, yeah. yeah you... I think we lost any audience in a yeah, on the political... the political alignment. Yeah. See, here's, here's what I do, is I just hate everyone. All right? <laughs> no one can say I'm liberal. No one can say I'm conservative. No one can say I'm libertarian. No one can say I'm fucking... Whatever the hell else it, there is. They just think I'm an asshole. Exactly. Everyone just hates me. And I'm fine with that. I don't want to align with any of you assholes. Fuck you. And I hate them. You guys fucking blow, all right? <laughs> I don't fucking You guys are a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Imagine Fuck needing you, a label. Sluts. What a bunch of nerds, dude. So I guess Imagine next... being liberal conservative in 2019. <laughs> I guess... Uh... I guess Netflix is ditching their whole binge function. Oh, I saw that. And they're trading it out for like a weekly thing like TV God. has always done. Damn it. I mean, I'm used to it because that's how Funimation is for me. Right, right, right. Is that it releases everything weekly. But wasn't that like but, their, their appeal? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't get. I guess it's like. I think this is. This might be a bad move in like response to having like all these different networks, right? Because I think it makes it's just like it's it, they're just basically basically making us codependent. Yeah. Like, well, you need to come back to Netflix. You need to get the new episode. Come back. Instead of just being like binging it. Yeah. I hate it. You know. <laughs> I'm salty. 
It just, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like, I I haven't unsubscribed to you after I binged watched the series. Yeah. <laughs> I still subscribe to you. I will still be subscribed to you. Now, now the people who just make new emails and then make new trial accounts are just going to wait mm-hmm. until the whole show's up. Yeah. And they're going to make the trial account. They're going to use that 30 days to binge the entire series. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to fucking cancel it again. This doesn't stop yeah. them. <laughs> That's yeah. what I'm doing with Disney Plus is that they announced that... um. The new Clone Wars season is going to be, uh, like, weekly, released weekly. So mm-hmm. I'm just like, well, I guess I'll just wait until that's over. <laughs> you know, same. You ain't tricking me, Disney. Not I'm not going to be. <laughs> I won't fall for it again. <clears throat> but, yeah, so that's the thing that's happening as well. What are we going to do? Let's just face it. These streaming services are turning back into television. <laughs> Pretty much. You know, we just can't Except wait. So much more. It's going to get, like, oh, it could be more expensive slash not expensive. Right, right. Because exactly. what? Like, how much does a cable, like, package cost? Oh, dude, I have no fucking dip. Do- <laughs> <I was, I'm, laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. No, no one in their 20s no knows, knows what a cable package is. <laughs> but, I don't um, know what it is. I just don't know how much one cost. Let me, hang on. I'll look it up. <laughs> package. Uh, prices. Okay, so like $69 a month. Oh, yeah. For uh, yeah. Well, that... wait. So digital How many channels is that, though? Without contract would be $114 a month. Yeah. 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 Fuck that. Fuck that. Happy Fuck 9-11, that. everyone. What? Happy 9-11. Wait, what? What do you mean? <laughs> it's not that time yet. It's 9-11. It is... It's... Oh. <laughs> I'm sitting here looking at the day like, what the fuck is he talking about? What is going on? So I entered an alternate dimension for a few seconds. Yeah, happy 9-3, guys. <laughs> well, yeah, you know when the Twin Towers went down on 9-3. Well, I was celebrating. Wait, what? Yeah, 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 you know. Whenever uh, we knock down the evil capitalist machine and replace them with okay. Islam. Oh, oh god. oh god! Where's your beard, Tyler? Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? That's my that's my nightmare. Oh god! <laughs> I just wake up one day and we're under a completely religious rule. They oh god! Oh. Like a I. What is it called? Like a oligarch? Or yeah, oligarchy. Yeah. God damn it! Not again. Um. So yeah. Uh, you working on anything, Tim? Got anything creative coming down the line? I've been working on a longer, uh, a longer piece. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just, like, I don't really expect this to go anywhere. Right. Like, I might, like, just submit, like, parts of it somewhere and see if that gets anywhere. But, like, I just want to try my hand at, like, writing something longer. Like mm-hmm. a longer piece. Right. So, I, I, I might, like, post that, like, on a, I don't know like a public writing account or something like that. But we'll see. We'll see. I just, it's just, it's more like, it's just like practice. Oh yeah. Something I want to try out. Just something to, something to experiment with. Right. Mm. I like that. That sounds fun. I'm, I'm doing a lot of that recently. <laughs> Experimenting with new things, you know? Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, are you gonna, are you gonna come play cards against humanity with us? Oh, uh, when are we planning to do that? I have no that? idea. I need to work it out with y'all. <laughs> I, I, I know what days I'm free. I don't know when everyone else is free. Uh, basically, after 12 any day, I'm pretty much free. Really? Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. So I'll just have to work it out. When Matthew's free all the time, you know, he doesn't fucking do anything. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's the nicest way possible. Uh, <laughs> well, he hangs out with people. Never mind. I <laughs> Brian, Brian, uh, you know he's going to fucking tech, so I'll I'll have to worry. He said, "Don't dox him, dude." What? Oh yeah. Don't dox. Oh yeah. Hang on, I have his address now. He sent it to me. Hang on. Oh god. <laughs> I was supposed to go visit him while I was in Lubbock, and I didn't get the chance to. But uh, <laughs> Brian's address is. Hang on. Let's do it to him. I'll give you I'll give you guys the numbers, and you got to figure it out from there. Oh god. <laughs> little game of uh, cat and mouse but brian's address 
To be fair, we doxed ourselves by saying we're in Clovis. We did, yeah, yeah, that's true. Let's see, where is his? We're gonna get murdered. One thousand one. One thousand one. Yep. That's his uh -huh. address. <laughs> that's it. Apartment number. Two one zero eight. Oh God. <laughs> there you go. And uh, that's all I'm gonna give away. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, edit that out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. You, you guys got that? We good? <laughs> We're talking to our team here at the Somewhat Okay Podcast. We are a <laughs> large team of people here. Do you want to introduce everyone? We have all time? entire crew. We have, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. sound mic. What, what is it? Boom mics. Like, five different camera uh -huh, guys. Yep. We jump cut every angle, like, every five seconds. Yeah. We <laughs> We're on par we, with we, the we, new, we, like, what was that movie? The... Thanks, Frank Sinatra movie. No, 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 the Bohemian Rhapsody one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, also, um, we also cut the footage so quickly that it just looks like this still image that you see on the screen. That's just experimental. <laughs> this is a new thing we're trying. That's so. all live. Like, we're on yeah. that beach right now. Yeah, you can. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right there. <laughs> as you can clearly see. And that's Tim right there. Mm -hmm. The reason you can't hear the ocean is because this. Uh, our our sound crew is that good. Yeah, yeah, that that's what it is. Amazing definitely, folks. Definitely not. They've worked on Battleship. Wait. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. Oh yeah, that's the big machine on top of the on the back of the news truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. So uh, I literally just thought it was a bomb. <laughs> yeah, Tim panicked when they first brought that out. He was like, "Wait." They no. pulled up, and I was just like, "Don't do this. I am too young." <laughs> if that guy says Allah Akbar. <laughs> I swear to God. On God. <laughs> on God. On Allah. All right. <laughs> um. Yeah. So uh, here at the Somewhat Okay Podcast Studios, um, there's <laughs> a fucking it's an entire thing dedicated to this one podcast. They don't do anything else. Oh, God. People have no other work except this. We podcast have multiple crews for all week. of <laughs> Once a week, these people show mm -hmm. up. Me and Tim show up wherever the fuck this beach is. We don't even know. <laughs> we just drive and we all somehow keep ending up in the same place. So I'm going to fucking, I'm going to change the fucking logo to like a different beach one day. Oh and God. We're just going to fuck it. And we're just going to pretend like we didn't change it. And it's been that one <laughs> the whole time. Everyone's going to fucking it have a Nelson, um, the Mandela effect moment. <laughs> and gonna fucking freak out. They're going to be like, do you remember whenever they changed everything in season two? Excuse me? What are you talking? <laughs> and just go back and retroactively change all the previous episodes to include the new beach. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? It's our own social experiment. Yeah. God damn it. You see? This is what you got to do to get popular in this day and age. <laughs> we just got to fuck with the audience. got to actively retcon everything. <laughs> We're going to make fucking what survey. Once the wow. one, once the retcon happens, it's not even gonna be me and you anymore. It's gonna be someone. Totally oh God! Gonna pretend <laughs> we're just gonna, time. we're just gonna get two people just to like read off everything, just, like repeat for verbatim everything we said. Yeah, we're like actually having the conversation, and they're hearing us over headsets, repeating what we're saying to each other. <laughs> it's so elaborate. I hate it. <laughs> there's, there's so much work that would have to go into this. I don't even want to do it now. <laughs> The retcon's worth it, okay? Oh, uh, excuse me. Just keep yeah. that in mind. The retcon's worth it. And keep it for the retcon. <laughs> for, for mother retcon. Oh, God. <laughs> Live by the retcon. <laughs> Die by the retcon. <laughs> Is that a thing you can do in D&D &D games? Can you retcon during a campaign? <laughs> Is that a thing that ever If happens? you fuck up, like, a roll, maybe, it's just... Like, what do you mean? Because... Or, I mean, like, it's, like, a common thing where you'll have to do, like, a strength check or something like that. Uh -huh. But you have to, you use, like, something called, like, strength saving throw. And they use two different modifiers. Mm -hmm. So you're just, like, it's just, like, oh, nope, even though you got a good roll, you're fucked, mate. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do it again. Damn it. I'm just going to retcon any time my character dies. <laughs> like, yeah, that, that, that only happened in the expansion pack. <laughs> that that only happened in tape B. Oh yeah. Oh, I, and I'm sure you're gonna be thrilled to know that for mm -hmm. our Cards Against Humanity game, I went through the effort 
of creating a card pack for us. Oh no. Oh yes. Can you can you link me like what's in it? Um let me see. Is there a way that you can like look at the cards? I, while you're I don't know. Game? You're the one who <laughs> Hey dude, I barely fucking know. I got Brian and Tim and Matthew in just to make sure that it like worked. Hmm. Um and it does, you know. Um <laughs> let me see. I think I can Is there like a way I can share it with you? Uh yeah, there is. Okay, here. Oh, where should I? In here, I guess. Shoop. Anywhere. There you go. Card cast. Yep. And you can oh, implement no. these into the game. Here's blank. Oh, that's a movie reference. Yep. Mom, please wake up. I can't sleep. My head is... Oh, God damn it. Hitler did nothing wrong. He just needed... To... What, what did it say? Oh, God damn it. Wait, hang on. Which one are you reading? What, what do they say? I just read that Hitler did nothing wrong. He just needed to... Oh, yeah, that's blank. a classic, yeah. God, God damn. damn it, Tyler! <laughs> what? what? I, you know what! Hang on, what? Which one? Not only Tim is a pedophile, but he's blank. <laughs> <laughs> There's some white cards dedicated to you, too. Let me see. The new rule of Islam is that all women must... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, to be honest, huh. no. What? What? Dude, to be honest. Oh, no. What gave Tyler AIDS? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe if Austin wasn't such an absolute. <laughs> okay, so uh, am I seeing these in the same order? Or? Fucking your sister while your dad drills you in the ass. <laughs> That's a Tim's awful mindset. What the fuck? <laughs> Tim's assigned wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got a few. There's a quote from Austin in there, too. Where is it? Yeah, the Tim is such a con card. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. An absolute mong is a staple. Yep, classic. Shoving up your pee hole. God damn it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I gotta add one. Oh, no. The book. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Let me see. There we go. Added it in. God damn it. I can just add them at will, which is great. So if you ever want to sit down and help me make my next insanity pack, <laughs> let me know. How many are there supposed to be per pack? I don't you know. Because I, I just did 50-60 as a good ratio, I thought. And we're obviously going to use other card sets too, not just this one. I hate all of you. <laughs> it's just the description of the pack. Here, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's right. Classic. Here, this is my favorite white card. I'm going to post it in here. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> you know, actually, there's quite a few good ones in here, if I'm being honest. The anal swabs that Chris took from Austin's asshole. <laughs> That's an old one. I, I doubt Austin even remembers that one. That's classic. Oh, wait. I love the the inside job. <laughs> the classics. Here. Fucking into the ass till one of you bleeds. I think this might be... Uh, an actual card, but I put it in my card set just because it was in my mind at the time. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I am concerned. What? Just buy this card pack. Yeah. Yeah, I've added, I'm adding some more slowly but surely. Oh boy. Like I just added one. Uh, well, I added the book, obviously, mm -hmm. and I added an N word that isn't what you think it is. What? An N word that isn't what you think it is. Is it? Is it? Is it not? Yeah, no, it's not. It's not the N word oh. that you think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's that's what we call in the business deflection. <laughs> God damn it! 
you know? I'm exempt of everything. I'm going to make that a white card, or a black card, actually. That's what we call in the business. Blank. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, no worries. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, shit, Jesus. Anyways, guys. So, yeah, I made a card pack. That, uh, me and Tim and... Me, me, Tim, Matthew, and Bryant are all going to play through. Uh, along with other card packs, obviously. We're not just going to do mine because that would get uh, pretty boring pretty quickly. Because everyone would just be picking the absolute most offensive uh, <laughs> uh, card that I wrote, you know. So, uh, fuck that. Um, no. You know? Um, I just learned that I can actually order my own card set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this pack big as fuck, and then, and then, alternatively, well, uh, I may make a physical copy or two of it <laughs> down the line. I'm not sure where Tim went, you know. He, he's a very busy man. He's got a very busy life. He's constantly moving. He's kind of like me, you know. He's just gonna He's just going to yeet himself out of this country one day, and no one's going to know why. But that, that's what I like about Tim, you know? You, you never know what to really expect with Tim. Chris Farron's new album's coming out next month. I'm very excited about that. The Breaking Bad movie is also coming out uh, next month as well. So that should be interesting. You know, I, I, I don't know if I wanted them to do what they're doing, because I kind of really liked... The ambiguity of the end of Breaking Bad, so I'm not sure if this is something that I actually want or not. But you know what? I'm I, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm against it because I don't I don't know what to expect fully, you know. So I can't I can't say that I'm either for nor against it currently. Once I see it in its complete state, that's when I'll make an opinion on it, and I'll either say it's an absolute abomination and it never should have been done, or I will. Uh, you know what? I, I might love it. You never know. I'll, I'll have to find out. I never give my opinion before I see the thing that I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> I have zero expectations. And I'm just going to see how it turns out. And we'll we'll meet back up on here whenever that happens. Chris Farron's album and the Breaking Bad movie are actually coming out on the same day next month. October 11th, everyone. So, you know, keep keep an eye out. Do what you got to do. And, uh, yeah. We out here. We're live. We're local. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Cocksucker. God damn it. It Chapter 2. Oh, yeah. You know, I just want to see that because Bill Hader's in it. And I love Bill, ha Bill Hader. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to dedicate myself to going out and seeing that in the theater, you know? Um, <laughs> it's not that important to me. So, welcome back, Tim. You're welcome. What needed you? Oh, I, nature called. Oh, I got you, man. I, we were talking about the Breaking Bad movies coming out. Oh, are, is it getting a movie? Yeah, you didn't know this? They put out no. a, a little teaser. Yeah, October 11th. They're putting out the, the movie for uh, Breaking Bad. It's like a... It's is, a this, is it like a prequel or just a, like a... It's a uh, sequel. It's following oh. uh, Jesse after... The end of Breaking Bad. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? Shit. What a society we live in. <laughs> Am I Can right you imagine? <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's happening. How does that make you feel, Tim? I never watched the original uh, Breaking Bad, so. You know what? I completely understand everyone who was like, I, you know, I didn't watch. I didn't watch <laughs> Breaking Bad, or I couldn't make it through the first season. I get it. Mm hmm Um... Because uh, I, that that first season really fucking drags, dude. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I sure fucking felt that way. I was like, Jesus, goddamn Christ. Just get to the point. And then finally, once I finally did, you know, make it um, to, uh, <clears throat> once I, when, 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 season two, I think it picked up a lot, you know, mm. once season two hit and everything, so, yeah. Did better. In my opinion. <laughs> in my humble opinion. In my humble expert opinion. <laughs> um, <laughs> so.
So it's got to add in that. I little, mean, I guess uh, I guess Brian Cranston's in it, so they must mention Walter White somewhere. Mm-hmm. So they pull some shit where they're like, "Yo, he lived, bruh." <laughs> and be like, "Ah, you fucking bitches, you fucking bitches." I mean, yeah, that's <laughs> very much possible. Fake outs are just so annoying. Yeah, I happened in an anime that I was watching that it's really good, and I still would recommend it. But like they. It's not just like a physical, like a physical powerful moment. It's also just like an emotional high point in the uh-huh. series. Yeah. Then like they end the episode on that. Yeah. Then like in the ep- next episode, it's just like, lol, JK, that all didn't matter. <laughs> I was just like, what? God damn it. <laughs> so I was a little annoyed at that, but I was just like, okay. Whatever. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Because I mean, <laughs> what, what are we going to do at the end of the day? We don't really get to say, do we? It's so like, well, if get to do they decided to do this, you know what? Good on them, Fine. but whatever. I'm I'm upset. I'm I'll not tell happy you about it. You can't make me pretend to be. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel that. I I I I just hate when things when they're just like we don't have consequences in this bitch. Mm. Like, but but why though? <laughs> yeah, well, I will say that the newest season of Attack on because I just finished watching that uh-huh. today. Right. Uh, they did a good job of that because they basically faked out two characters' deaths. Really? But they basically are just like, well, one of them is definitely going to die. Yeah. Because <laughs> they have MacGuffin juice that only one person can oh, live. of course, of course. The MacGuffin. So, uh, in that context, I'm okay with just because there is consequence. Okay, one yeah. person will actually die. <laughs> right. So someone is going to die. Mm-hmm. All right. You know, I haven't been watching any TV recently, so I haven't been watching any shows. I haven't got, I haven't logged on Netflix in like a fucking month now. Um, How are you supposed watching. to give us your hot takes on movies? Uh, I have DVDs <laughs> and movies I pirate as well. God damn it. Right now, I've just been like trying to catch up with like anime shows that I missed like for from spring. Right, 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 right. Just trying to find all the ones that people are recommending this this time around. You know what? I need to see if uh, Yamishibai's new season is up and running yet. So thank you for reminding me to do that. Because <laughs> that is a show I will sit through and watch and try to figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, they got two more episodes out. The Sleepless Child and uh, The Reception Room. So I guess I'll have to check those out. Delivery, that one, that was interesting, to say the least. Oh, God. What? I'm concerned about this title. What? Delivery. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one, this guy, like, uh, uh, so basically what happens is he's, he's like, staying at his friend's house while his friend's away. He's, like, house-sitting, you know? Mm. Um, mm. And while he's house-sitting... He discovers that, or his friend keeps on getting packages. And mm. even after his friend's supposed to get back, he's still getting these packages. And then eventually you figure out that these packages are actually his uh, his friend's body parts. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Being oh! Taken. Yeah. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> oh. Well, here I thought it was about to be like prego. Oh, nope, no. Nope, it's gruesome murder. Just straight up fucking murder, bro. You know? It, it's the best thing on the I'm market I'm not disappointed. Right now. <laughs> You're not disappointed or you are? I'm not disappointed. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Yes. This is what I was hoping for, Tyler. Of course. But yeah, so that, that was a thing. Um, interestingly enough. So, uh, uh, oh. If I could recommend one show from definitely dr stone it's just it's just like it's 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 a it's edgy but it's just like it's just a fun show right and it's just like it's it's like you you like all the characters and it's pretty fucking fun like what oh god i need to like find the clip of it but like there's just one quote that still gets me every single goddamn day it's would hardly would would recommend that show Dude, what the fuck is going on right now? What, what's the name of the show? Dr. Stone. Dr. Stone. What's it about? It's basically one day humanity basically gets frozen in stone. Like okay. everyone gets petrified. Okay. 
and um, like thousands of years pass where like basically all the structures get like eroded away and shit right until like a few people start waking up okay. and now they have to live in basically the stone age again oh no god damn it oh wow. so that's interesting the first episode's fucking gruesome because it, it it's a little scary because it's like sort of like a sort of like deal uh-huh. And, like, it really encompassed that because they actually, like, you see planes that start just, like, crashing into cities. Right, Because right. everyone's petrified now. Yeah, oh, my God. Wow. But, like, the statues get broken apart and they're, like, their heads are just, like, laying in places and shit. It's uh-huh. like, oh, fuck. Holy shit, yeah. Wow. So, it's, like, it, it, it left a strong impression and, like, its characters really, like, just keep it up. Oh, okay. Plus, well, the antagonist is a JoJo's character. <laughs> you know what? You know what I've been looking for? Mm. I want a really good uh, free roam samurai game. That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> uh, I know. Weren't that, you playing that? Like, uh, yeah, the way you in were samurai playing one. Four, it's kind of similar, but the problem is it's really like limited. You're limited mm. to this one village, you know. Oh, uh, okay. And we can pretend the map is big all all we want, but there's not a whole lot to do. So <laughs> I'm looking for some. I'm looking for more of like the. The, like wandering samurai kind of thing, you know? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the drifter. Uh, there's probably a monster, like, uh, what's it called? Mountain Blade. Oh, yeah. I mean, what I, something else I really want to play with someone is one of the fucking Arma games. Because, goddamn. Oh, yeah. Those fucking games. They drive. I was excited about the new expansion, but apparently it's shit. Which one? Uh, they did like a basically an XCOM expansion. Uh huh. That was like a basically the whole premise is just like a like it's alien hunting sort of like you're a elite unit that's right, trying right. to like find aliens, but apparently it's not just like it's like two gimmicks they add right, and nothing right. else. Oh god damn it! I really so like, I was uh, just like disappointed. I, you know, playing Arma two, I really like the aspect of it where you can just kind of patrol. You know, mm-hmm. and and randomly command will be like, "Hey, we need you to go do this. We need you to go do that." Yeah, I I really enjoy that aspect, and and the the fucking is hard. All right, <laughs> it's a hard game. If you're not, yeah, like, yeah, paying one hundred percent. Yeah, like the shooting in there is definitely compared to <laughs> like you gonna get fucking clapped, dude. <laughs> Real fucking fast in that game. Even even if you're not doing shit. Sometimes I'll just be walking around like hum da 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 da. I'm having a grand old time. <laughs> oh, oh, there was an enemy <laughs> sniper. Apparently, I'm glad I've been notified in this second where my life well, has been lost. Unless they get like a headshot or something, they could just like drag your body. <laughs> oh, I love that aspect of it too because I, <laughs> I remember I've been in situations where I just like one of my guys had gone down and I saw like a fucking APC rolling up and I'm dragging his ass into this yard <laughs> so that we have some cover. Stay with me, soldier! Oh, God damn! And, 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 I, and I, I, the shooting, the nice thing about the shooting in that game is because of how hard it is, it feels mm. really fucking rewarding when you Whenever do you actually get a kill. kill someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, <laughs> fuck, yes! And, and in that second I'm like, this man is dead and I am not. <laughs> survival of the fittest <laughs> i have that moment of like and, i am alive and, and see i like that aspect too and that's what i like wanted in this like the, their new dlc because uh-huh. i just i wanted to be like sort of like a spooky sort of like thing right where it's right. like wandering out in the middle of a forest looking for like something vaguely alienish right right and yeah. all of a sudden like some like i it would definitely be like a departure from classic armor but it's like i have some like player controlled creature just like come and yeet half of your squad and he's like <laughs> fuck come in <laughs> oh my god dude. i want to be the guy who gets cut off mid sentence while i'm radioing <laughs> commands <laughs> one, one of the funniest things uh i got to see while while playing arma was me and this group of people we were doing the patrol missions mm. and we we had this one where they're like take out this satellite and we're like, okay, and I'm I'm pretty new to the game at this point, and so was this other guy in the group, and we're we're doing mm-hmm. this, and we 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 basically snipe them all out, and then we just have to destroy the tower, which mm-hmm. I've learned you do through doing airstrikes. <laughs> so the the head guy of our unit calls in an airstrike, and we're all kind of walking away, and we realize one of our guys is still back there, and he's mm-hmm. picking like a, he's getting stuff off of the NPCs, like ammo and stuff. 
the ones <laughs> that we shot. And so we look back, and he's like, "What?" The, we're like, "Where? Where the hell is this guy?" And we look back, and we see him there. And we're like, "Hey, get the hell over here!" He's like, "Hang on, I gotta, I gotta, get, <laughs> it's the whole fucking, I gotta get this item thing going on, you know." Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> then we hear the fucking bombs drop. And he's like, "Oh shit! Oh god!" <laughs> and you just see him running, and then you see he just gets engulfed in these fucking oh, explosions. Oh, and he's like, "Oh god!" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, oh no!" <laughs> Because I was sitting there, I was like, he's not in capped. He's fucking dead. His radio mm-hmm. wouldn't cut off if, if he was in capped. Yeah. He's fucking dead. <laughs> he's like, oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. He's gone. He's fucking he's actually gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, he's fucking dead, dude. And then sometimes that, it's just, it's you know, it's fucking war. It, it, and, and they treat you like it's fucking war. You know, you fucking, mm. sometimes the goddamn, uh. I love the missions where it's like nighttime and you start mm-hmm. off on the aircraft carrier, you know, like, and you got to go to the helicopter that you have to get on and everything. You get up out of bed, get dre- get your armor on, get your guns, mm. go to the fucking helicopter. The helicopter flies you out to the location and you're on there for the entire ride. <laughs> and they set you down. And then, and then it, it, it's so amazing how I go from like, I am safe to I am now in the shits <laughs> in a matter of seconds. Like the moment my feet hit the ground, I'm like, okay. I'm like, I got to find some cover quick, and then I'm going to figure out where the fuck we're going from here. Because mm-hmm. you got to figure all this then, shit out on the fly. You know? Then all of a sudden, I'm in danger. <laughs> and then suddenly, you hear one of your guys like, oh! I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> fuck. I just want to be a radio operator and just like, just like <laughs> tell the squad captain, just like, hey, you know that thing where they get cut off, cut off mid-sentence? Yeah, squad A through C, that happens. <laughs> Yeah, everyone. We're pretty right fucked. <laughs> everyone is dead. Okay. Um, and that, that that's how it be too. I like the I like the ones where it's multiple teams going for the same objective, and you just like, mm. you know, over the radio, you get to hear like, like you gotta, we need help, we need help now, and then we just hear like, Phew! and then their signal goes dead, and we're like, oh shit. Well, we that's not good we at didn't all. Make it in time. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> I like I like the ambush ones too. Where you fucking mm-hmm. plant trip mines in the road and then you and your team goes prone in the bushes and you fucking <laughs> wait for this truck to pull up. And sometimes mm. the wrong truck comes first and you're like, Oh shit, wait, wait <laughs> It's like one of your guys, so you're like, Wait, whoa, 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 stop, stop. Go around. They're like, What the fuck? I'm like, Go go around. Trust me. <laughs> you're gonna wanna go around. You do not want this. <laughs> He's like, But yeah, but we're here for the ambush. I'm like, Yeah. So are we. <laughs> so, so are we. <laughs> yeah. There are mines in the road because of how good we have done our job. <laughs> so please, I'm begging you. I do not want to be court-martialed today, so <laughs> shut the I'm, fuck up. You're not getting me sent to court. So help me. <laughs> yeah, court-martials fucking suck, dude. Oh, I've, heard, God. I've heard some horror stories about that type of shit. Oh, no. You don't want to be court-martialed, dude. Because then everyone treats you like shit. Just well, I just want to commit some war crimes, yeah. God damn it! Yeah, what, what's what? It, it, well, I was following orders. <laughs> I was only following orders. Oh, shit, that was my excuse in that game. Sometimes they they had a mod <laughs> where um, if you killed a civilian, mm-hmm. uh, you have to you can either just bury their body in an unmarked grave mm-hmm. and move on about your day, or you can take their body to their family member. Oh God! And be like, Here it is. <laughs> so uh, we carried we. Oh, and an airstrike, and, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, he got that's, in the way. That's how it would be happening a lot, too. You're just sitting there like, all right, calling an airstrike, and then you see a guy walking his goat, and you're like, wait. <laughs> wait. That's a civilian. That's a civ- no, that's a civ- Hey! <laughs> Get the fuck! <laughs> Abort the goddamn fucking mission! <laughs> and then other times they're like, all right, you're going to you're gonna fucking kill everyone in this village. Mm. And so I do. And then, like, you killed civilians. I'm like, you said everyone. In the village. I don't know. I don't know. You I'm can't... sorry. Did I misinterpret <laughs> yeah. something? Wait a sec. That's the problem with armor too. Is you can't. There is no difference between the mm. civilians and the and the bad guys. And I get uh, the bad guys have guns. <laughs> they don't always have their guns out. Mm-hmm. And so when you shoot a civilian because they look like they might be <laughs> one of them, and then suddenly I'm getting court-martialed. Why can't I racially profile? Yeah. What is this? All right. This is what this is different than like working the beat in Chicago. All right. 
<laughs> Can't racial profile there. I can racial profile here. It's fine. I'm just being persecuted. <laughs> Honestly, it's because I'm white. And I, and I voted God for damn. Donald Trump. All right? Oh, no. That's why I'm being... <laughs> I went back and I watched that... Uh, that that Roseanne video again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought the bitch was white. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it! It is so funny. That's so funny to me. That's always gonna be funny to me. Jesus. <laughs> I got thought that. the bitch was white. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> Whatever happened to her? Did she ever go on and do anything? After the, after that, I don't think I've heard anything from her recently. Yeah, like, don't... there's just like, I think she just dropped off the base. <laughs> just dropped off the base. Yeah. eyed. You know what? Can't blame her. <laughs> Same. I mean, at that point, when you say something as stupid as that, I mean, what else can you do with your time, right? God damn it! What? I mean, what... I. You know, it's you, fair for you. You can defend it. Is that no, what this is? no. Okay. No. I was like, you know. I'll do the same thing. I'll be like, yeet. I'm gone. <laughs> I mean, shit, that's what I'm, yeah, hi. That's what I'm currently doing. <laughs> Once I get the opportunity. Just jumping ship. Yeah, I'm just going to fucking go to another country and fucking. These hoes ain't loyal. Egg, that's my point, man. That is what I'm saying. Oh, when are we going to play Stardew Valley again? We always talk oh, about God. it. Oh, God. We never do. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many things. I know. We're so busy. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. I don't know. I just think about our, our farm. Now we left it. How the cannon's unfinished. <laughs> Can you beat Stardew Valley? That thing? I think like three years is the cutoff point. Is it? Or, yeah. Well, it's all like. I don't think. I think it keeps going after. It's like the. For like game stats and stuff because that's whenever your grandpa's like, I'm coming back in three years. Oh, okay. I, I thought I was so. dead. Huh? I thought I was dead. Oh, apparently not. He's just. <laughs> There's a Take sign that says that he's coming back in the years, so apparently if, if my character arc will just be waiting for having another zombie member of the family. Oh, I didn't I didn't know it had like an ending. That's crazy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's like an actual ending, but your stats like finish up at a certain point and you can keep going, but it's not gonna count towards anything in the overall scheme of things. Let me see. Grandpa. Grandpa. Oh! What? Oh, it's his ghost that comes back. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Okay, so it says here that the goal is three years, but after that, it's still ongoing. Yeah. Okay. So I've still got time to romance Maru. <laughs> what I've gathered from this uh, little divulge of information. Oh, um, you know, Tim, mm -hmm. I'm running out of things to talk about. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. This to... is the fiftieth episode. I we know. what the we fuck are so we much. supposed to do? I mean, There's we... no super controversy. We already talked about the shootings. Yeah, Hong Kong still happening. Oh yeah, some new I... footage came out. Did you get to see that? They were dragging oh the yeah, the I mean, shit. it's just more of Hong Kong citizens getting fucking wrecked, trampled on, yeah, so fucking destroyed. Letting everyone know that China's still terrible. Yeah. <laughs> That's why when Ann was in here earlier, like I, I think I'll move to China or Canada. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, oh. why? I mean, if, if, if we're weighing out the options, I don't know why Canada is one. <laughs> There's plenty of different countries that I would have... There, there's a lot more <laughs> on the list that I would pri prioritize going to than China. Yeah, that's what I was, I was like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I feel like it's just a common occurrence over there just like one square and a whole armored column of like police officers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what I experienced in the yeah, fucking... Uh, that's what it was firsthand, wasn't it? In uh, the airport, so... I mean can't really argue with facts and logic isn't that right ben shapiro oh we're getting our conservative audience back <laughs> we gotta win them over somehow dude 
What, you, 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 we support Ben Shapiro, um, you think that the, blonde bitch. You think these fucking liberals uh, pay the rent, dude? They're socialists. <laughs> they don't pay anyone for them. They don't do shit. They're worthless. They're just giving us stickers. <laughs> I mean, look, the sickle and the hammer tattoo is cool as hell and everything, but like, how am I going to keep <laughs> these fucking lights on, dude? <laughs> these tattoos I don't, don't want to have to choose between having my electricity on or an, an extra loaf of bread, okay? <laughs> yeah, which one's it going to be, boys? <laughs> you know what? Shouts out to the extra loaf of bread, all right? <laughs> Our daily bread, if you will. God damn it. Or not daily. Yeah, the Christians are going to sue us. <laughs> Wait, they didn't get them on our side? Uh, are we taking the name? What do you mean? Are we like, are, are we taking the name Our Daily Bread or are we just like, no, no, I'm just, shout out. Like, yeah, I'm shouting out to the. Oh, okay. The okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. So, We're good. Are we, are we just pandering now? <laughs> yeah. just That's all we are now. <laughs> the somewhat pandering podcast. Yeah. You know, we, we, we don't have opinions anymore except the ones you pay for. All right. <laughs> that and I've just had it. All right. I've been rebelling too long. I just want to conform, okay? Well, no. I've done my part. I'm just tired of putting in the effort. <laughs> God. I'm going to buy I'm going to buy the most expensive option for Disney premiums. I'm giving in. All right. I can't take it. I'm buying all the classic movie DV or the classic movies. <laughs> That's it. I sold out. I'm sorry, guys. I, I tried my best. I tried so hard, got so far. But in the end, the lead singer of Linkin Park died. So. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Was that bad? That man dead. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's just a fact, isn't it? Yeah. Do you like Linkin Park? Or did you like Linkin Park? I liked Park? it back in the day. Oh, okay. Like, I, I buy both their songs. Like, uh, when, is, when is back in the day considered? Like middle school. Okay, yeah. 14, 13. Minutes to Midnight was my shit, you know. Um, mm-hmm. Can't change my mind there. Shout out to Minutes to Midnight. The quintessential uh, Linkin Park album. <laughs> Many people would think it's that other one. No. Just no. What, what's the other one? Me. Let me see. I still have like, even though I have Spotify, I still have like download music. Right, right. They're still on there. Somewhat okay podcast. Don't God know. damn it. My favorite. My favorite. Uh, what? There's hybrid theories. A thousand suns. I like. A thousand. Yeah. A thousand suns is pretty good. Uh. Loving things. I think people didn't like that one too much, but there's like a. Which one? Uh, Living Things. Is that at, like their most recent one or? I'm not sure. Let me see. Because yeah. I have it downloaded, but it was all pirated music. So right, right. it doesn't yeah. give me like specifics. Never be too sure. That's what I had to do with Samsung back in the day. That's yeah. it's like if I wanted to download music, fucking like, use like a legal app. <laughs> yeah. Or not like an illegal app, but like some sketchy app. LimeWire. Uh, Jeez, they still have like 16 million fucking... What? They still have like 16 million listeners. Oh, wow. Well, they're doing pretty good for themselves then. Living Things came out in 2012. Oh, okay. No, so that's not a recent album then. I remember they put out an album right before uh, he died. I think that was One More Light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that sounds right. Huh. Well, how about that? Jeez, they released a shit ton of stuff in really 2012. Did. Yeah, they really did. Oh, well, okay, no, like, because, let me see. Oh, no, 2012 was like, they just, like, released a lot more. Oh, yeah, that was just, like, this like, live songs. Right, 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 okay. Because on here, it was just, like, Hybrid Theory, Meteora, Minutes to Midnight, A Thousand Suns. I'm just like, wait a minute. Wait. One of these this things doesn't seem doesn't right. Like the other, one of these things just doesn't belong. Oh, 
Alrighty. Is there anything else well, you want to say about a... Lincoln Park? <laughs> <laughs> the very topical band. Yeah. Very, very mainstream. Very. Uh... Well, apparently. They... Are they? Pretty goddamn. Right. I mean, can't argue with facts and logic. Am I right, my guys? <laughs> Shout us out, Ben Shapiro, please. <laughs> please. Ben, ben, give this to me. I beg you. I'm begging you. Just actively. <laughs> Give me your shit. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Um. You know, Tim. What what else is there out in the world for us to discuss? Nothing, nothing too what? great's gone on recently, right? <laughs> By great, I mean you know, topical mm -hmm. stuff for us to talk about. Let me check my Google arc article. Okay. All right. Maybe Twitter's upset about something. Oh, um, you know Dave Chappelle's new special. Oh yeah. A lot of. I tried. I, I tried watching it. I didn't really get into it, but apparently there's fucking. Well, there was there was a few jokes that were just like, it's pretty fucked. Like, he says a, a lot of hot takes. <laughs> what did he? What, like which ones? Like he was just like talking about like how Michael Jackson like one of the jokes for Michael Jackson uh -huh. like him like uh, abusing children uh -huh. was that he was just like um or molesting children is just like man if i was molested by michael jackson and i was that young i'd be fucking excited the king of pop was sucking my dick you know what so it made he, me laugh you know he definitely <laughs> he has laugh. some pretty hot it's like for me i laughed but the, it's just like it's like i just out of here just oh he actually fucking oh, said that. Yeah, it's like, definitely oh, like yeah. it's it's a very like what you what you wouldn't expect in 2019. Yeah, and yeah I guess yeah. that's like that's all the articles about it do prove his point. Just like oh yeah, and that's that's just sort of that's that's Dave Chappelle at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. If we're if we're being honest, you know that's that's who he is. <laughs> so he's always that's been how he is. That's how he's always gonna be. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I I thought the oh what was it. Him talking about uh, Jesse Smollett was pretty funny, I thought. Mm -hmm. Did you get to that one? No. He's like, I only got like 10 minutes A French in. actor named Jesse Small, J Juicy Smollett. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a French actor known for his role on Empire. And he said, he said, now, he said that these racists ran up to him and beat him and, and said to him, hey, from Empire. Oh. And he's like, He's like, see, I knew that white people didn't say that because white people don't talk like that. It sounds like something that I would say. <laughs> these these racist, homophobic white people don't watch Empire. They don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, he was like, he, he, he was like, can you imagine taking this guy's uh, this guy's uh, statement down as the cop? And he's like, all right, so you were heading out at 2 a.m., it's 17 below freezing. Okay. <laughs> Where were you going? Subway. Sandwiches? <laughs> okay. Uh, what were they wearing? MAGA hats. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Frank, come here. MAGA hats in Chicago. You find out where Kanye West was last night. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so that one got me. I've seen that mm. one. Thought that I thought that was really funny. Um. I can't think of any other ones that, uh, I mean, I, I haven't watched the whole special. These are, these are just the ones that I've seen. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dave Chappelle, he's known for, uh, some hot takes, you know, Yeah. <laughs> the hottest of takes, if you will. So I don't, I don't know where the media is getting off being all surprised and shit. Mm -hmm. This is just what he's always done. <clears throat> so. Right. I, I I it was my first experience of him, so I was just oh okay. <laughs> I definitely I, I I his older specials I think are a lot better. Hmm. Um, just because he he's a lot more ludicrous on them, he goes a lot more out of his way to be ludicrous in those ones. So mm -hmm. I would recommend those ones. Those are really good. Um, yeah. So Dave Chappelle, shout out to Dave Chappelle, wherever you are, you son of a bitch, you. <laughs> Whatever you're doing nowadays. I um, believe in everything David Chappelle says. Do you, you see? You get it. He, he's right about everything. All right? Mm -hmm. There's no contesting this. 
And if you disagree, <laughs> you're just a triggered little snowflake, all right? And you can't oh, handle God. facts and oh, logic, no. all right? You get destroyed on a daily basis. <laughs> so just shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Anyways. You don't deserve love. <laughs> you don't deserve life. Um, oh, God. <laughs> I won't go that far. <laughs> well, we'll cut it off there. Yeah, maybe you deserve life. All right. This fucking guy. He said, so after the rolling credits, is it one of those endless games like Minecraft? Mm. And he said, no, I don't believe the game does not And this guy responded, so I will forever harvest turnips and get rejected by everyone. Thanks for Oof. answering. <laughs> it's a Steam forum. Back that you get, reje- you get rejected by fucking Stardew Girls. <laughs> You have a problem. <laughs> yeah. Even Tim hooks up with his girls in Stardew Valley. Ha <laughs> ha. Is that correct? Who, do, who did you hook up with before we started our game? Uh, My first playthrough, I did Penny. Mm. Which one's that? She's the one that lives at the trailer park. Oh, yeah, she's kind of cute. I went for Emily on my first playthrough. And then I went for... Of course you fucking did. What the fuck is wrong with Emily, you <laughs> absolute fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with Emily? No, 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 please. Please. <laughs> what did she She's do She's the obvious, oh, look at me. I'm so quirky. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Just because Emily wants to save the world, we got to have something against her now. And the fuck She's a goddamn me? hippie. She's indoctrinated into... What the into fuck the is wrong with hippies? Fucking cult. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> She's indoctrinated into my cult. Or indictrinated, if you will. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And she's got this fucking cute ass bird that gets put in your house when you get to. So why would you not want Emily? Is the real question. What What does Penny give you? Huh? What did Penny do for you? Give you the trailer she park cooks home. A lot of shit. She makes me- Oh, she's a cook. <laughs> yeah. Emily makes she's a really like good cook. Omelets, ever so often. You know. She's Penny more gets a- like the good shit, like pies and shit, dude. Why would I want a pie, dude? I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes, because omelets <laughs> scream diet. I mean, they do. Have you ever have you ever looked at the the calorie intake for an omelet? There is none. How much is zero? <laughs> zero. There's no <laughs> nutrition. Hello, so ever. I think we, we, I think we got. I got. I think we got someone new in here, Tim. What? Super. Fuck. Can you read that? My eyes are terrible. Super alpha lat laden. Super alpha laden. Like a laden, like the fucking like the spoon. <laughs> the spoon I'm not sure used for is the that... soup the laden is that what that's called or am I stupid we, it's a ladle god damn <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had it wrong anyways welcome welcome to the stream alpha we were just talking yep. about uh, Stardew Valley waifus apparently mm-hmm. and, and how Tim, Tyler's is wrong Tim is fucking stupid <laughs> well I don't know cause now I'm on uh, I'm on, on Maru yeah I'm on Maru now like, is she a problem <laughs> Do you have a problem no, with her no. too? No, I mean she's smart. She's like she she got she her shit together. She she's can, like a nurse and she shit. She does like te- technological shit. Like uh, once once you get her into the house, I think she gives you like machinery type stuff. You know, hmm. so she's useful. I don't know what. What you, a nerd! I don't know what your problem is with Emily. You know, she saved the world. <laughs> she gave me a bird. I don't know what more I could ask for. See, I think we're missing the obvious uh, choice of Abigail being gamer. <laughs> is, is 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 that what Abigail is? <laughs> Yeah. She gamer girl material. I think in one of the hard events is that you literally play like that little uh, arcade shooter. Oh, yeah. that that That's her thing. Mm. Oh, man. I didn't know that. I, you know, I I need to get back to Stardew Valley. Do I have it installed still? Let me see. <laughs> Let me see. Shoot. Do you have a computer that can run it? I, I can run Stardew Valley, Tim. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for trying to out me to our new viewer here that my PC <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Am I shit. demeaning you too much? <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a new one at the end of this semester, so, you know. <laughs> I'm saving up for that. I got to save up to fucking move to Japan. Yeah, I got tournaments. I gotta Why not just buy money. the computer cheap in Japan? You see, Tim, that would require me to think ahead. And I am someone who loves instant gratification. <laughs> that requires foresight. Yeah, that, that requires me to think ahead and make a plan. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm going to do this shit here. I'm going to figure out how the fuck I'm going to get that computer over to Japan with me. <laughs> Half this other shit. I need a new fucking desk is what I need. I need to burn this shit to the ground. Oh, God. Yeah. You want to come over for my desk burning party? <laughs> <laughs> 
Facebook event that shit. We gotta. Yeah, we'll bring Austin over. I'll choke slam him through it. It's gonna be great. Oh, God. It's an ECW. It'll just be a wrestling. <laughs> yeah, fuck it's it. just gonna be like a wrestling God arena. Damn. <laughs> Instead of a cage match, just it's just gonna be a burning desk match. Yeah. Here we go. Where you just beat each other with pieces of your desk that's on fire. <laughs> uh, you know what? I feel like Austin might be down for that. He needs a release, you know, doing the nursing <laughs> stuff. He needs a release. He, it's catharsis. Yeah. <laughs> that's what wrestling is. At the I end mean, day, isn't it? who wouldn't want to beat their friend with a flaming piece of Can wood? Can you imagine if you had a lawyer representing you in some kind of court case and then you, <laughs> at night you go to some fucking wrestling, local wrestling event and there's your fucking lawyer all dressed <laughs> up. He's playing a role, all this shit. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you just imagine if you just like see your doing a line of cocaine like the who? night before the case? <laughs> and it's like, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm token, bruh. What what the <laughs> fuck? Why am I here? If I have a case tomorrow. Why are you here? You definitely have, you a, have case a case tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. It's the fucking Spider Man <laughs> meme. It's like, no you. <laughs> You're the problem here, not me. Yeah. You literally hired me to make sure you don't have a problem. Just because you get caught doesn't mean I get caught. Yeah, the fuck? I get away with oh. my shit. What happens if you just blackmail them? <laughs> just... You know what? And then the fucking judge this is there, too. Do this for me for free, and I won't tell anyone oh, yeah. you've been doing cocaine. You'll be, you'll be fine. And the fucking judge is also there as well. <laughs> fuck Everyone, it's like hey what's up brothers there with the bailiff like oh yeah oh, oh. um just uh, start recording everything <laughs> walks to the court you're just like excuse me he just throws the case this entire out. case is unfounded <laughs> this whole court is out of order <laughs> <laughs> the whole jury is there i like to put other. i like to uh, testify against the judge. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, is that allowed? I think, you, I think you need to file a separate case for that. No, we're doing this right now. We're doing it live. Fuck it. Fucking court system sucks. <laughs> you know? God damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I would love, I would love for that to happen. I have not seen anyone that I went to jury duty with since I went. Not that I got anyone's name except for this one girl. I sat next to, so I was like, I kind of have to talk to this person or I'm going to go crazy. I can't not talk for long periods of time or I lose my shit. All right. I got to make some kind of noise. I'll be sitting there at work like, hang <laughs> 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 That's why I study Japanese at work so I could talk. I'm sitting there like, kore wa. You know, I'm just saying Japanese shit out loud just so I can test myself. I say animals' names. Tori. <laughs> Inu. Neko. <laughs> just all the... Furo. All the various stuff. Just everything. If I come visit you while you live in Japan, can we go to the for Can we do what? Can we go to the suicide forest? Yeah. We're going to Aokigahara. That's not too far from Tokyo. Nice. It's like south of Tokyo, dude. I've been there before. <laughs> you're gonna come over. I'm gonna introduce you to all the great. I'm gonna show you the soap lands. Oh no! Oh you. no! I remember that. <laughs> you, you remember the soap lands? Did I tell you about the? Uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What? I read the sign to that, and I was like, I'm misreading it. <laughs> I'm wrong. I went inside. Please tell me I'm wrong. I was not misreading it. I, I, I <laughs> just like, no, that's that what you think time. it is. Like, yeah, that's exactly you just, what you, you thought. You just like grab your friend by the shoulders, just like, no, you need to understand. No. I'm wrong. <laughs> Things I've seen. Um. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I take you to all the things I love about Japan. We go to <laughs> McDonald's, you know. <laughs> just so. Can we get drunk at McDonald's it, there? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. And even if we can't, we can just get drunk somewhere else and then we can walk <laughs> to the McDonald's. It's almost like we're legal. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the nice thing about Japan is they don't give a shit mm-hmm. if you drink alcohol. You know, <laughs> I didn't get card anywhere. They have vending machines that you can get alcohol out of. Man, why is every other country more responsible? Yeah. Uh, what's up with that? I mean, fucking Ireland, you just got to be taller than the bar. Like, <laughs> yeah. That's that's it. Um. <clears throat> but uh yeah so uh yeah come visit me in japan and i'll show you all the curious things that country has to offer <laughs> i 
I'll take you to the the hentai shops, the underground oh. hentai shops. Oh yeah, like yeah. you gotta go downstairs, down the spiral staircase. I need to get to Akibara, or <laughs> what yeah. is it called? Akibahara. Yeah, <laughs> I always say Akibahara. Not to be mixed up with Akibahara, you're gonna end up in a totally wrong place. <laughs> I'm just gonna feel awkward because like any. Time- do do like um shopkeepers like do they speak English like or is English like prevalent there or this is like am I pretty fucked? Tokyo's better about it than most places. Um mm-hmm. shopkeepers they know enough. <laughs> they you know? they know enough to get the sale. Exact they know enough to sell something to you. Like they mm-hmm. and they, they won't come over and try to get you to buy something. You will find what you want, you bring mm-hmm. it to the counter, you say Kore kudasai, they say hi. <laughs> They ring you up. They re- they tell you your price in Japanese. Luckily, the little thing's there, so you can just read it. <laughs> if you can't, I you just know. feel like I'll be judged just because there's a Filipino here. Uh yeah, you you'll blend in pretty good. <laughs> Wait, they they won't know. You'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm the Mexican. Uh, I'm basically Mexican. <laughs> well, that's how they think of the Okinawans, and they seem to get along fine. Oh well. You know, they, they consider the Okinawans like a separate country entirely. So, oh, oh, shit. Yeah. The Okinawans have their own dialect. Fun fact. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah out of I need to Japan. check which town I was born in Japan. You do? It was your, your dad was stationed over there, I'm guessing, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you were born in a town in Japan? And he already... Yeah, was I was born mom. in... Huh? And he was already with your mom? Yeah, well, yeah. Because your mom's Filipino, right? Yeah. Okay. The thing about Filipinos is that they work in, they, they work anywhere. Like I think they first met in Oh, they met in Japan. They probably yeah. met they probably met in Okinawa cuz that's where most of our bases are and they probably I feel met, like Okinawa is where I was born. I think I think it might be, man. You might you pro, uh my parents Air Force base was called Kadena. Mhm. Kadena Air Force Base. And that doesn't sound familiar. That doesn't sound familiar. Well, Okinawa no. probably does. Because that's where, that's where most of the Air Force Base Because are. from what I remember is that apparently, like, the place where I was born, like, the town was recently flooded. Like, it was like two years ago. Uh-huh. So, I'm not sure. Let's find out. I'm Googling. <laughs> yeah, Kadena the Air Force Base in Okinawa, for sure. Yeah. Good old Okinawa. You know, what a place. <laughs> It's really, it's really different from anywhere else in Japan. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, time for us to wrap this bitch up, as they say in the business. Oh shit! Shit! All right, go ahead, Tim. Do it to him. Well, at the beginning of this podcast, yep, we uh, we spoke. We it was more of our hot takes on recent events. We talked about shooting. We talked about it's basically anything and anything that. Was controversial. Yep. Or that we watched in Philip DeFranco. <laughs> yeah. Just before this. God damn it. Oh, I didn't watch it today, actually. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, no. Because whenever you brought up, um, which, which one was it? The, um, oh, what was that topic? The, the Popeye's chicken? The yeah, the fried chicken. That was yeah. one of the main stories on there, too, so. God damn it, yeah. That shit was, that shit's fucking ridiculous. God damn it. <laughs> These fucking people. Um, and then we uh, were talking about, you know, some of the... We had a little tangent on, like... Uh, I had a tangent on anime to watch. Oh, yeah, right. That's right. Um, talked a lot about We talked about Japan streaming services. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We uh, talked about moving to different countries. Yep, just jumping ship. Bitch. Yep, just getting the fuck out of here. Um, 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 what else did we talk about? I think... I think that pretty much covers it. You think so? I think that's it. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, Lincoln Park. We talk about. Oh Lincoln yeah, Lincoln Park. Park. Yep. Can't forget about that Can wonderful segment. Not forget Lincoln Park. <laughs> um, Literally leads that subject off with yeah. just joking about his <laughs> the lead singer <laughs> suits. God damn it! Just immediately. <laughs> um. Yeah. So this is the somewhat okay podcast episode number fifty. Fifty. We yeah, hit the five, big 5-0. We hit the big 5 All right, this is where my dad's age now. <laughs> we out here. Um, we did it. We did. Uh, is there anything controversial you want to say at this one, or should we just end it like, on a boring note? Oh, yes. We've, we've always uh, ended on a controversial uh, topic. Uh, ben Shapiro for presidency 2020. Okay. Um, Tim, 
abortion. Oh, yeah. 